Jordan Castle. And the innovator, the master debater, the cunning linguist, absolute genius, Justin Reich. Too many nicknames, too many nicknames. And there you are, there goes Gotch. And, and too many five. men for Gotch to handle all five teaming uh, up, getting the big man out, Gotch. but that is not all the beef we have left, gentlemen. No, Gotch is not happening. Us, this match has big, big stakes for the rest of this show because the winner of this match will be facing the winner of the scramble main event to see who will be the first entry into the tournament. And I can tell you who's and not Chris going on. Chris or Dizzy's not going, you're right. And Alan Breeze has retrieved the pool noodle. Oh no, the pool noodle has come out. We've we got, got a noodle chant, our first noodle chant of the night. It's one pool noodle oh. versus three very large, powerful oh, men. I, I don't know. The are coming on. down. I don't know if I like those oh, odds for Breeze. Oh, oh my goodness. No, oh. Bagu says no, no pool noodle. And a big oh. choke slam. Well, I don't think he deserved that. Alan Breeze is in this match. His tag team partner, as you can hear, his tag team partner, CSJ. Oh, no, the noodle. Great. Oh, big sidewalk slam right there. They've been doing a great job here in BWC, but without his tag team partner, Alan Breeze decided he would take the chance, enter the battle royal, and see if he can't submit. Oh! oh. Right to oh. the gonads. Man, oh, I no, didn't. What no, happened? No disqualification. I mean, you really. I missed it. There goes Bagu. Oh, oh, oh God, there he is. And Alan Breeze, a little bit of an assistance from Alan. Oh, oh, oh. They've, they've created an alliance here. They've created an alliance. Tarbos and Alan Breeze. This is what you got to do in a matchup like this, gentlemen, especially when it gets to these deep waters. You need these alliances, temporary though they may be, and things not looking good for Chaz Price here. Oh, yeah. you no, know, Chaz Price is in a world of trouble right now. Two men now. Alan Chaz Breeze. is regretting his decision. Yeah, Alan Breeze did the smart thing and made an alliance with a bigger man, using him to hopefully get Chaz out. Oh, look at Chaz. He's begging. He's pleading. Let me get out of this match. We are 100 strong here tonight in Paris, California for this, our anniversary event. And how apropos on our one year anniversary event, almost to the day that we would get one step closer to that King of the Valley Championship Tournament crowning our oh, first champion. So beautifully done right there by Chaz. Taking both men out in the center of the ring. That was more of a slip than anything. Are you, well, it was, was unbelievable athleticism. Are you I kidding me? I don't know what you're talking about. Chaz is just begging to get out of there. Look at him. He's like, please let me out. I don't know. Chaz is firing up, and this crowd is really behind him now. You, you I could be heartburn. You don't know that. A, a broken oh, clock is right line. twice a day, and you may make a point, my friend. An illegal Tarot. forearm shot. I don't know about this guy. Chaz There's Price. illegal right now. It's no disqualification. And oh. a big leaping forearm. Look at Chaz Price go. Chaz Price, a high-flying, high-octane competitor, and oftentimes that style does not lend itself to battle royal situations. Situations. The closer you get to that top rope, the closer you get to getting yourself eliminated. But right now, he's really in control right now. You can see he's really not taking unnecessary risks, really controlling how 
now he's flying around this ring. Oh, but look at Alan Breeze with the throw cuts Alan him off Breeze. with the pass. That is the caliber star right there. What, crotching the guy across the throat? Hey, I don't know if you can yeah. crotch anyone across the throat, okay? I mean, Chess Bryce isn't breathing. It's as simple Chaz as Price that. Chess Bryce is on oh. oh! You're sitting out your Inagi. Beautifully done there by Chess. Alan Breeze is in trouble. I don't know if his alliance is Alan going Breeze. anywhere right now. Where's Alan the Breeze. pool noodle? Alan Breeze, oh! No, skidding the cat. He's holding on. He's no, holding on. Referee He's saying on. he is not on the floor yet. Referee Steve's right Chaz there. Chaz over the top. Chaz, though. It's not enough oh, to go. Oh, Tarvos with the back elbow. Not enough Chaz. to go over the top rope. Need Alan both Breeze. feet to he touch the on. floor. Those feet are dangling. Can he hold on? Now, if I was Tarvos, I would have been kicking Breeze out, but you know, he seems to be. It's every man. Oh, oh, oh no. the top rope. And Tarvos then there were two. Come on, Alan. I got too much money on you. Final two. Beautifully done no. for Alan Breeze to save himself out there because that showed a lot of upper body strength, a lot of fortitude. He was hanging out there for a good few minutes. Oh, yes! Hey, Carlos now. Look at him, he's just trying to say hi. Talk about a sore loser, come on. He's just saying hi to his friend. Alan I mean, that's, Breeze, though. Give him Look a Alan Breeze. Alan, oh. Alan! Yes! Yes! Alan Breeze! Alan, Alan Breeze champion. champion. You know, taking advantage of the, you're right, taking advantage of the situation, taking yeah. advantage of Carlos. Alan Breeze and his pool noodles, no matter how he did it, they are going tonight to face the winner of the, of the Elimination Scramble match. And the winner of that matchup will indeed qualify for the King of the Valley Championship Tournament. That is how prestigious that championship is going to be, gentlemen. The Alan Breeze man. did not need a tag team tonight, just You're him right. and his pool noodle. You're right, he did Future not. champion? We'll find out. Possibly. Now, how does that work? Will he hold the noodle in one hand and the championship title belt in the other? Will he put the title belt around the noodle? What's, oh, I like that one. what's I like the logistics that one. of that, gentlemen? I, I feel like the noodle is going to just wrap around his neck like a scarf at some point. Uh, a little bit like Jake the Snake Roberts, you know? Right. He's gonna pull out that noodle. Look at those moves. That is a Look at star this. Look right at this, there. man. Oh, there it is. Well, he's gotta go get some rest. This he's crowd got is in love with him. He's got a tall order tonight. Alan Breeze certainly with the advantage between his himself and his mystery opponent. We know that yes. Scramble will be main eventing Valentine's yes. Crush this evening. Alan Breeze has the entire show to rest, has the entire show to recuperate. Same can't necessarily be said of his Scramble opponent. So it would behoove him to sit there and watch and hopefully learn whose opponent's gonna be tonight. Look at Alan. There he is, just, just, just the man of the people. He, he wiped his hand clean after high-fiving the child. I mean, you gotta worry about COVID sometimes, you know? This guy is unbelievable. You're Somebody's unbelievable. Hey, I am, right, thank you. All right. I appreciate that. No, he's got it right. I am unbelievable. I'm also nice, nope. kind. Uh-uh. What? What do you mean? Not no. correct. Gentlemen, what an honor it is here to be alongside you. Paris, California, VWC's one-year anniversary Valentine's Crush. And what a show we have. We have the former WWE superstars. We have superstars from around the state. We have, oh, and Mr. James is headed to the ring. Oh, Mr. James. The straw that stirs the drink. He truly does it all here in the Valley Wrestling Connection. He does. He's the guy who writes the checks around here. I like him. I wonder why. <laughs> Voice of the Storm and Monster Jam. You know some right. Monster Jam? No, I, I've seen Trucks. it. 
So, so excited to have Kaz here today, yes. fulfilling ring announcing duties. He's a handsome cat, wears the suit well. I bet oh, you're yeah. jealous. That's a little far-fetched, that's all I'm saying. I mean, I'm not seeing a suit on you, it's like a work shirt. How <laughs> dare you? Just stating facts. Because I'm a worker. It's called effort, kid. That is what I like to hear. This ham and egg. Before we get the show started, for all the wonderful people in attendance tonight here at the Bob Glass Arena, and for everybody watching around the world, if you are ready for BWC's Valentine Crush, let me hear you. Where's Gravedigger? <laughs> then let's get this night started. The following contest set for one fall with a 15 minute time limit is a tag team match. Oh, we all know who that is. Ever growing school of steel. Oh boy. Yeah. I've heard things about these guys. The principal. There he and is! The principal and one of his and Cal Jack and his new students. Now, is this an accredited institution? Of course, we have Zachary Zach and Cal Jack, managed by Principal Truman Steele. Well, Steele will tell you that this is an institution. Last, you know, show, six man tag, the school of steel came on top and in the process injured Richie Coyne. So Big, beautiful, and wow is Jordan, man, is Jordan Man. And now they have to deal with these two giants. Look at the principal, just always educating for yes. the future. Look at him out there, just giving his lessons, his knowledge of wealth, and, and uh, just just a great human being. Like, I don't know, man, he, he just seems to be yelling and screaming nonsense, to be honest with you. There doesn't oh, well, seem to be much substance. Somebody clearly didn't listen in school. And the principal handing out, is laying down knowledge. And they're handing out detention slips again. Well, yeah, if you're not listening, that's what happens. I, myself, though, was a 4.0 GPA student. In what world? I have a hard time believing that. Hey, it uh -oh. happened once. Well, here comes a tag team with a 4.0 GPA. How do you know that? Getting you after know that. it. You don't have and the partying. Look at the big man. Uh, the veteran himself, Biggie Biggs. And, of course, my, my friend Bo. Is that what that smell is? Oh, oh, Big E. Big wow. Yeah, that's a big, big wow. Big wow. Chris Nasty's out there cheering his friend Bobby on. Bobby and his new wife. They just got married about a month ago, a couple months ago. I heard he dyes his hair with uh, toilet uh, toilet uh, dye. Oh. Stuff. You know, they, like, look at that. Oh. Sick burn, dude. Ah, that's what I heard. I mean, I can smell it. Well, it's, like, big, it's like pneumonia. Make no mistake, Big Wow, the team of Bovi and Biggie Biggs are colorful. They like to have fun, they like to have a good time. However, they can get it done in the ring. Oh, and definitely. The School of Steel, it would behoove them to take I, Biggie Biggs and Bovi maybe a little more seriously than they are now. There's just not enough pants where there should be pants. And there goes the shirt. That, that's, that's a lot of big. I love the matching tights. That is a great, great, great touch right there. I just wish there were more pants. Okay. Nope. Oh! That was for you. Little wiggle wiggle. I'm not mad at it. And one must be wary of the principal at the ringside. Why worry about him? He's just out there spitting knowledge. Come on, my friend. Is this, this is your first day in the office here at the Valley Wrestling He's Connection? You've been, he, you've been here longer than you I. You know, know that whenever Principal Truman Steele has an opportunity to interject himself behind the official's back, he will take that opportunity. All I know is he's a man of his word. And he doesn't really lie very much. He's a good guy. Well, we can see who the favorites are tonight. Cow Dragon and Nathan showing, giving no, showing, making no friends at all in that crowd. I mean, I will say Big Wow dressing for the occasion. The event oh. is called Valentine's Crush, and they have the very Big pink heart-shaped gear. Oh, uh, look at these these students that got detention already pranked us with a, the nice fire alarm. <laughs> this has to be the doing of the School of Steel. It has to be. Certainly. Trying to, get, trying to get out of the match, getting everybody out of the venue. There we go, it's off. Give him a detention. Oh. 
we are underway. The bell has sounded. Bovi start things up here tonight against Zach. The height advantage clearly belonging to the School of Steel here. Oh yes, but Bovi is a powerhouse in his own right. He has some of the strongest legs I've ever seen here in wrestling. And Bovi, Bovi wanted a handshake and Zach slapped it away. Again, you see Bovi, you think I got this guy figured out. He's all goofy, he's all shtick. That is not the case. No. This guy as substantial a competitor in the ropes oh, as you will find. Very much so. One of the toughest men you'll see despite all the color and all the flash. Bovi now with a big shoulder tackle. Oh, Zach God, I don't think put on deodorant and I'm gonna gag. I, I think oh. that's you you're smelling. I, no. The, oh, the call I is wear, coming from inside the house. I wear like. amazing cologne. Zachary Give almost it is tripping Go over on. himself. Dropped yeah. out from Bovi. Bovi now, big leapfrog. Look at him leapfrog the big man. Big leapfrog from the big man and a big wow for Bovi. Oh, okay. and here we go. It's time for the Bovi go round. Shoulders down. Can't keep him down. Oh. That's going to take a little more one, than that. Two, one, two, one count only. One more time. No, there we go. There's the Bovi go round. How round is this legal, ref? Come on. Where he stops, Bovi knows. Look at that, two rotations. And of course, not oh. only is Bovi trying to keep shoulders down for the Don't three count, up. he's also keeping Zachary Zach off a vertical base. He's also making him a little uh, lightheaded here, as we can clearly Very see on spaghetti yeah. legs. Well, it's just go the behind. smell he's cool having to deal Nelson. with, really. I don't know if he's going to be able to pull Zachary like that, though. Now they're shaking hands. Zachary having enough of the funny business, but really has had a very hard time getting out of the starting gate here against oh, Bovi. Really is. Bovi's really been in control since the opening bell right now. Oh, big. And a beautiful bridge right there. Takes the big man down. Cover. One. No, one count only, though, still. Bovi has not been able to pull more than a one count yet. And in comes Cal Jack. Cal Jack, the monster. Oh Look at the boy! Size of this guy. But Bobby's got a monster of his own, yes, fellas. He does. This is about to be what we call a hoss fight. Two big, mean, nasty people going at okay, it. Okay, that's again. Biggie Biggs with the I just thrust to the corner. I feel like his tailor didn't put more pants in the front. Oh, uh, gentlemen, this is gonna get ugly here. This is gonna get ugly in a hurry. Biggie, look at Biggie feeding in from the crowd. Cal Jack now wanting to lock up. Caught up on time. Nicely done. I don't know if he the man's gonna be able to move. It. He's backing Biggie up right now, though. A slight size oh, advantage. Hold on! Look at the move! Biggie ba, ba, with ba, the moves. Ba, 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 you know what? Ba, ba. Oh, kick to the midsection. No, Cal Jack, all business tonight. Cal Jack has got a future in the Let's dance world, folks. Cal nope. Jack, of course, no a, way, Biggie says. a legit collegiate wrestling champion, a former NXT superstar. Oh, look at that. And apparently look needs to take his, a he, wonderful uh, lead. Needs to take his, his, his talents from uh, full sail to dancing with the stars, apparently, That's gentlemen. Oh, yes. he win it. Look at that. There it is. Oh, he's Biggie. feeling himself. I gotta say, I may not. Cal from Cal Jack too, a little bit dancing. Yeah, yeah he's gonna school him on again. that. I may not like the school of steel, but those hips don't lie. <laughs> they do not. No, he was. Look at the those milkshakes do bring us to the yard. I don't know if he's gonna pull the big man down like you that. You don't want to be there. That's a lot of humanity. Cal Jack went. Cal one Jack went. Oh! Cal Jack was almost a flapjack. Nobody home now. This is the, might be Cal Jack's opening. Oh, big slap across the face. I don't think that was a slap, it was more of a wake-up call. Frequent oh, tags here, the he name of the game. Words. Frequent tags, the name of the game for the School of Steel. Ten minutes remaining in the match right now. Keeping Biggie Biggs isolated in their corner, but you see Biggie oh, going for Biggie the tag. A power charge, beautifully done. Bobby now tagged back in. Him and Nathan again. Bobby. Big scoop and a slam on the big man. What a beautiful done. Caljack though interjecting himself. Bobby says no. Big Scooping a slap for Cal Jack. That's that honeymoon strength we mentioned recently married to Mrs. Bovey on the outside. Oh, look at it. He's going to pick up the big man. Oh! Using his own partner as a battering ram. Unbelievable Cal strength. Jack's getting right out of He's that. He's just ring. trying to get revenge for that swirly they gave him. Cover. One, two. No, this time got a two count, though. What is your authority on that swirly? I'm just saying, look at the blue hair. You mean How I, else does your hair get that blue? Dye, perhaps? I used the restroom earlier. I know exactly what that My was. friend, you, do, you are not one to talk about hair. You I'm do not saying, know what you're talking about in that hey, regard. I had glorious hair, but I moved it to my chin. <laughs> Well, right now, Bovi, Bovi now. an illegal shot to the eyes from Zachary yeah, Zach here. Look at the left hands right here Zachary Zach. I mean, beautiful jabs. Shades of Mike Tyson right there. 
Steve should be interjecting right there with his close fist. Oh, beautiful textbook suplex. suplex by Beautifully the school. Done. Steal Zachary Zach instead of Iron Mike Tyson, perhaps. There you go. That's the one. Give me a and break. And the principal. Look at the principal. Encouraging the crowd at ringside. Yeah, has Principal Truman Steele stopped talking since this matchup began? I don't think no, he has. he's always he's teaching. Kind of amazing. Humanitarian. Always just out there educating the oh, masses. Definitely. Cal Jack, no. Oh! Nice that gut is wrench. Power. Beautiful gut wrench. Just toss the man. Not only can Cal Jack dance like a ballerina, he has the power of a monster truck. You know, people often say this ain't ballet to say like it's not something. Oh dainty and, and light. I think this isn't ballet because Cal Jack's a oh, terrible oh, dancer, yes, yes. but admittedly a beautiful gut wrench. Once again, double tapping Bobby Bobby here. now in all sorts of trouble, but now, now Zachary, Zach and Kudrick really have a good situation. Boy, they've really got him isolated away from Biggie Biggs. Biggie Biggs now getting in the ring, but that might be doing his partner more harm than good. Yeah, Biggie Biggs has got to be careful. He doesn't let his anger, his, his love towards tag team partner Bovey blind him here. Zachary Zach now in control, brings Bobby out of the corner. But again, we mentioned, gentlemen, this is very, very personal oh, for yes, Big Wow. It's not it just is. about shutting the School of Steel up, it's also about garnering revenge for best friend Richie Coy. Yeah, so it unfortunately has been, it was injured by the School of Steel, as we said. Yep, and given a big wedgie. Oh, it was not a wedgie. It's a little more than a wedgie, come on now. <laughs> Bobby, of course, often seen alongside tag team partner Chris Nasty. Oh. We yes, saw him bring big, we saw him bring Big Wow to the ring earlier on tonight. Bovey asking Nasty for permission, teaming with Biggie Biggs for one night only. They're going from Big Wow to Big Joke right now. Zachary Zach really establishing himself right here. Pulls the man out of the corner, going for the single leg. Oh, working on those powerful legs of Bovey. Again, say what you will of the School of Steel. I, I may not like the principal, I may not like the attitude, but both are accomplished athletes. Very much so, very much so. Big splash right there from the big man. Just oh, count it, it's over. One, two, two, three, it's that. Look okay. at the forearm oh. across the face right. right there. We gotta really talk about these refs here at VWC. Like, they, they, they count <laughs> slow sometimes. What's wrong with the official? It's a perfectly ref. fine count. I'm just saying, that was just a little slow, a little biased, oh, I feel. Right hand there. I've been watching the NFL, I know what's rigged. Right now, Bovey doing everything he can to escape the clutches oh. of Zachary Zach. But much easier said than done. Much and as you easier. said, in comes Biggie. Yeah, Biggie's getting, Biggie's getting a little frustrated, but this is doing his partner more hard than doing good. He's Cal allowing Jack. an opening. Oh, Zach, he's Zachary Zach, Zach, Zach in the corner. Yeah, now here comes Cal Jack. Oh. oh, big European uppercut. And the principal just Zach checking there. to make sure his shoelaces are Oh, tied. and then a shot to the back right there. Allowing an opening for the School of Steel to take advantage. Double team Bovey! Oh, and a nice to the one. lower back and a nice golf clap. This guy's gonna be a star. Cover. One, two. No, Bovey kicks out at two. Yeah, we get it, ref. A little slow. That's all I'm saying. I don't think it was slow at all. But the crowd now trying to will Bovey back into this match. I don't know if they can. Bovey's in a lot of trouble right here. He needs to get a tag. I need to get one soon. He needs a tag in a big way right now. His moment oh, is fading. There we go. Atomic drop is a good start. And then a German suplex. Beautifully done. But Bovey's a little bit far from his corner. He's going to have to cross the big man to get to his corner. Yeah, Bovey just collapsing in exhaustion here. Has a country between him and tag partner Biggie Biggs. Bovey, though. Biggie's trying to get the crowd, trying to get Bobby into it. This crowd is really behind Big Wow. Principal. Principal's trying, but I don't think he's gonna get. Spew some knowledge. Bobby now crawling to the corner. Crawling to the corner. Can he make the tag? No. Fingertips Chow away. Chowja grabs, grabs the ankle. Bobby, big and security, catches the man in the shoulder blade and makes the tag to the big man. Oh, he's winding up. Cal Jack and Zachary Zach both come back here, both come in, and Biggie takes them both out with a clothesline. And now Biggie Biggs has not only there had many. There goes those big, big right hands. He's it's not so only had many minutes to recuperate, has Biggie Biggs. He's also gotten fired up watching his boss tag partner. Slam. Big so sidewalk movement. Slam. Beautiful Just boss man slam there into the cover. Biggie calls, goes one, two, oh, three. Zachary Zach breaks it up. Great uh, ring awareness right there. We got five minutes left in this match. And this is crunch time for both of these teams. They Bobby gotta be now. looking for a game ending maneuver here. There you go, Bobby with the go behind. No, gut wrench. Beautiful overhead suplex right there. Had him by the tights, I saw it. Look at the principal pointing the principal it out. Principal now interjecting himself in the principal match. Principal's just trying to talk to the ref about how slow of a count he has been. Get no, this goof comes, down, here please. Comes Bobby. Here Who comes is that name? hussy? That Thank is you. Mrs. Bobby. That yes, is Bobby's recent wife, wife who okay, you brought her, up. Give her a detention. 
She clearly oh, is no. getting swirlies. I'm not sure if our camera's caught it, but Cal Jack with a cookie sheet he to the head of Biggie Biggs. No, 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 no. That I was heard just, that. He baked cookies earlier. Well, Zachary Zach is the school cafeteria chef, but nevertheless. Oh, code breaker right there from Cal Jack. Cover. The referee didn't see any of it. Not One, like this. No, two. Yay. Took him to school, gentlemen. Took school him to school. School is your winners once again, but once again with shen shenanigans. That was not a clean victory at all. Mrs. Bovey did what she could, but you could argue it was her interjection. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Zachary Zach not doing it. They're beating down Bovey now. No, the school of steel now. Beating down, continuing with the attack on Big Wow. It's called education. No, this is not fair. Public schools here in Paris, this California. is not fair. Come on, Steve. We're, we got to get referee. someone out here. Come on, this is a Someone's this is a three on one this. assault right, here. Here comes Chris okay. Nasty. Here comes okay. Chris Nasty. Well, there's someone, the Lucha scumbag, Chris Nasty, cleaning house, saving his best friend, Bovey. Thank goodness, Chris Nasty. Chris Nasty out with a chair, eating up the odds. His part, his partner, his best friend, Bovey. Perhaps a trios tag team match down the line. Get, get Principal Truman Steele in there. Might not want to put that chair down. Chris Nasty raising the hands of his friends now. This is what we, this is what needed to happen. School of Steel may have won the battle, but the war is far from over. No, and I think there might be a new soldier in this war in Chris Nasty. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait yes! a oh my God! I knew he was wait. gonna do that. That's his I best friend. It. I Chris. knew he was gonna do that. That is Why? Chris Nasty's best friend, who he's cracking over the side of the back Chris. of a steel chair. Why, you know, I wouldn't he, want to be best friends with a guy with swirly hair. He's wearing Bovey's shirt. How could he do this to him in front of his wife? What has happened to Chris Nasty? Chris. Well, I mean, it was Why? in the name, gentlemen. Well, he calls himself the Lucha Scumbag. And make oh. it good on that name here. Come on. Super, Super kick, kick right, right in the, the throat. Right in the throat, you're right. And now look at him stepping on Biggie's head. What is, what has happened to him? This is Bovey in tears. This, this is hard to watch, fellas. We gotta get some help out here for Bovey and Biggie. We Chris, get, Chris Nasty we was the help. Chris Nasty. Yeah, and now we gotta get Chris Nasty out of the ring before somebody gets hurt. Come on, think Chris, about the no, use of the brotherhood. Nasty, oh. Super kick, beautiful Chris, super stop. kick. You know, Biggie Chris now. Nasty's not that bad no, of a guy. Stop it. Oh. oh. Fans, Stop have a seat. <laughs> if you are unaware <laughs> Why? with Chris Nasty and Bovey's history, they are like no. brothers. They travel everywhere together. Well, clearly that brother just got disowned. Makes me sick. A truly sickening and disturbing turn of events here. We already need some help. You know, I think Chris Nasty's a pretty good Why? guy. I mean, that's, I, I'm sure he had his reasons. But what are his reasons? He attacked. Decimated Look at his best friend. I'm a broadcast journalist. I'll find out later. And I'll Biggie you. Biggs. Why? I'll let you know. Well, we mentioned Bovey and Biggie Biggs fighting, crying. fighting for the injured Richie Coy. You gotta hope that Biggie and Bovey haven't suffered the same fate here. Thankfully, able to leave the ring of their own volition. In front of his wife. His wife is in tears right now. Bovey. I don't even think Bovey understands or knows what happened yet. Green crew now assisting even Biggie Biggs out. Biggie Biggs in a, not in a good way. Uh, well, Chris Nasty is scheduled shame. for competition later on tonight shame. against the Mecha Wolf, but. And, oh, what a match that's going to be. Has made a statement here oh, in a big it's, way. Yeah, Whatever Bovey did, I'm sure it's his fault. Well, fellas, we have to regroup here, because up next, singles action on tap. Lois Grain head to head with Delilah Doom. Oh yes, Lois Green. She was here last show. Had a was on the losing end of a match against Lyra Zachary. <laughs> but she's back here and now she's got an even bigger challenge on her hand mm -hmm. in Delilah Doom. Very established. Oh, here's this show boat. Oh, here comes Cass. With a 15 minute time limit. Oh, oh, As you were saying, Michael. Oh, just I was just to tell you that, you know, Delilah Doom wrestled all has wrestled all over Southern California. Santino Brothers mainstay won championships, mixed tag matches. So you almost think that Lois Green goes from a one challenge to an even bigger challenge here tonight. 
Paula Strain, just, just the grace of a first lady. Yeah, the proprietor of uh, butt wrestling, as she calls it. Yes, I don't know about anything about that, but. Lois so graceful. Lois Grain certainly not making any friends here tonight. Oh, not any friends, you're right. And you can hardly argue with her. As you mentioned, Delilah Doom, a mainstay of Southern California, one of the most popular wrestlers we have here on tonight's card. So perhaps Lois Grain trying to beat the fans to the punch. Oh, gentlemen. Here comes that wonderful 80s music. Sorry in advance, but Robin Sparkles, a personal favorite. Yep. Okay, even I'm feeling this one. We're going to the mall. And here comes the bundle of energy herself. Let's go to the mall. Who won't be so So I guess the question is, what's the stronger style? Butt wrestling or aerobic style? We're about to find out, but gentlemen, do you feel it? Oh, here we go. We're going to the mall. Everybody oh, at, come and look play. Look at Justin go. Throw every oh, last care oh, Justin. Away. This is hurting my ears, Let's guys. Come look at it. Look at Jordan. Can you at least sing in key? Uh, today. Robin yeah. Sparkles sings like an angel, and you're killing it. Robin oh. Sparkles, I am not. But Delilah Doom with the fans behind her side, as we predicted. Yes, indeed. Channeling that Richard Simmons jazzercise energy here tonight against Lois Crane. She looks like she could play him in a movie. I heard Polly Shore. And there's the bell. Right. Clearly height advantage, possibly power advantage goes a little. Oh, clearly height advantage. She's almost a head taller than her. Delilah wants a handshake. Delilah is a lady, and that tattooed oh. lady is just. Lois Green wanted no part of the handshake. Listen, fellas, with Delilah Doom Ooh. lax in size, she makes up for it hard as we're seeing here. Beautiful arm drag right there to get out of the slam. Delilah well, beautiful forearm in the corner. Lois Green rocked already. Shoulder tackle to the midsection. I don't even think Lois, I don't think she knew that the bell rang. I don't think she did either. She tried to get the jump on Delilah, and Delilah was two steps ahead of her. Unfair. Delilah checking her pulse. And, oh, Big D in the corner. Hot step and putting that Stairmaster training to good use here is Delilah Doom. Right now, aerobic style is proving to be the better style. Big leg drop across the bottom. Is rope that right even there. legal? Cover. One, two, two count already from Delilah. Justin doing a great job in there. Again, you got to think the longer and longer this matchup goes on, the more it favors Lois Crane. It's why Delilah Doom is going through this very quick, fast burst of energy in the early going. She wants to finish this one quickly. Oh, no doubt. She doesn't want to give Lois a chance to get started. Lois no! is a powerhouse. There and she it is. Her right there. There's that chance here, catching Delilah off that monkey flip. And now, big move, big catching move. right in the face. One move is all it took for her to reverse the fortunes in this match. Two, no, two count now for Lois Green. And now is where Delilah's gonna be in trouble. The little ball of energy is gonna be grounded. She's gonna be slowed down by the bigger woman. Nice stomp to the lower back. Beautiful. Yeah, Lois Gray, no doubt, looking to use her power, looking to use her size to keep Delilah Doom off a vertical base, and Definitely. very clearly stomping on that lower back. If that lower back, that now spine this, is neutralized. I don't know if this is, legal, this is called aggression. No. You want to be a winner, you got to do what it takes. You saw you saw our referee warning her. You know that was not legal. Uh, Justin Borden. Justin slow refs. Justin oh. Borden staying on top of the action. Big throw in the corner, and that's I know Borden. He's now. a little shifty. He's a New Japan official. Watch yourself. Yeah, he's never been shifty. Well. Oh, now thrown out of the corner the hard way. Delilah Doom is in all sorts of trouble right here, fellas. Lois Grain mocking Delilah Doom, mocking the, to the back. fervent Paris faithful here tonight. And another running out of the corner the hard way. Lois Grain now, this is what she needed to do. She slowed down the pace, she slowed down the match. This is her match. Gentlemen, Lois Grain, I think it's fair to say, has there. an attitude problem. Yes. The biggest Lois Grain fan is, well, Lois Grain herself. Yes, you know, indeed. You know what? If maybe you're not maybe right. Fan, maybe you're number you're one. Maybe gonna, she's number two. If you're not going to be a fan of yourself, no one is. The, the world is dirty, and you've got to take it by the hands, or in her case, by the rear. Oh, why why do you make it weird, man? Right. That's what her whole gimmick, isn't it? Is what she's all about. Well, right now, what she's all about is dominating Delilah Doom here, really staying on top. Yes, she is. She's really, like I said, slow down the back, and now just shot series of shots to the back. She's really focusing on the back right now. Been focusing on it for the last few minutes. Snapmare out of the corner. 
Lois now, and a kick to the back. And a series of kicks to the back. Lois now, kicks her down. Yeah, Delilah Doom with that very early flurry of offense. But since Lois oh. Gray re -re regained the advantage, it has been all but wrestling here. Using those long legs, you're right. Now, oh, now going right after the knee. Got her in a nice submission hold. Beautifully done. Look at her right there, stretching her out. And not only that, center of the ring, nowhere for Delilah Doom to reach her hands or her feet. She's looking around, but I think she realizes she can't get to the ropes. So instead, she's going to have to try to figure, oh, whoa. Shoulders down there for a, for a couple seconds. Figured something out. Yeah, Delilah did. She almost pulled off the upset right there. Series of neck, knee, uh, gym breakers right there. Oh, no, Connor, oh! Was going for that wheelbarrow, but she Lois was. Grain saw it coming and reversed into a German suplex. That was the power we talked about, and you have that little added. I don't know if she meant to or not, but her head did hit that bottom rope. You might want to look at that and watch that now. I didn't see a thing. Yeah, very nasty, very nasty landing there for Delilah Doom as Lois Grain oh, pulls her back to the center of the ring. Lois is in complete control. Lois now setting up for Going maybe for a Boston crab. Look at the look at the height she can get on that. Look at how deep she's sitting back. And again, center of the ring. The You're ropes right. are a country away for Delilah Doom. You're right. She may have no choice. She might not. She's trying to bridge out of it, trying to release some pressure right there. Crawling now to that bottom rope. Look at her crawling. Look at the willpower from Delilah Doom. And she makes it. But how much damage was done in the interim, gentlemen? You're right. She has been working on that back, targeting that back for the majority of this match now. And with that, even as long as she held it, I don't know how Delilah Doom is going to come back. Got a 10 minute call. Lois has got to end it now. All right, back to the back again. Delilah tried to go to the midsection. Lois didn't even register it. On that camel clutch here, really zeroing in on the back, it seems, yeah, is Lois Grain. Look, look she's at working this. these submissions. Look at her wrenching back on that. But she's I think she right gave there. up. I think she's giving up. No, she's not giving she up. She did not is, give she up. She is clearly saying, help, I need to go home now. There was no tap. There that was no like verbal one. submission. Referee Borden is right there. He's checking. He's a lot closer than you are, Justin. You need new glasses, right? And I now, just got new ones. <laughs> it's not showing. And, and gentlemen, Delilah Doom will not go down. No. She has sustained so much punishment here well, from Lois Grain, but still survives. But she's still kicking your right. Lois Grain, though, now in full control. I'm not sure what Delilah Doom is going to have to do to get back into this match, because right now, her back is all kinds of rack. I mean, the, yeah, the answer would be the athleticism. The answer Look would be this. the speed. Oh, that's standing famous, sir, just about. Very, very difficult there we go. to rely on that and athleticism. Drop. One, two, two count. Using those long legs to her advantage. But look at Justin Borden again, counting slow. No, I don't think that was slow. Remember, he is, like we said, he's a very, he's a New Japan official right there. He's only holding up saying two because he's asking her, did I count right? I think, I think uh, <laughs> Green is gonna get a little frustrated and she cannot start getting frustrated. She's in such control to get frustrated right she now. She is working that she's lower back. It's a bear big, hug here. Big bear hug. Delilah Doom doing everything she can to escape, digging those elbows in right the neck. Right into the corner. Oh, right into the corner though. She's trying, both women trying now. No, but she just lost it to Lila Doom in the corner. I mentioned Lois Grain zeroing in on the back. The bear hug absolutely debilitating to that region of the body. Grain, oh, kicks, blocks the form right there, the punch right there. Lois Grain and Delilah Doom with a big splash off the top rope. Here's her, this might be her window, but Green back, Green back to her feet first. Nice cross Lois body from slipped. Doom. Look at that, chin breaker, one another one. If at first you don't Trio. succeed, try, Four. try again. Lois is still on her feet. Getting ahead of steam now, coming off hard, going for that wheelbarrow again. Look at the strength. Oh. Beautiful down with the bulldog. This could be it, but again, can't even she get her can't, over. No, she's Lois, having trouble getting her over. Lois is too big, too strong, too powerful for Delilah oh, Doom to oh. even make the cover. Okay, we do something here. Can't just stomp on a lower back like oh, that. Oh, she's doing the stairmaster. Cover. Grain moves over one, two. No, two count. Grain kicks out. Perhaps a little taste of Grain's own medicine. We saw Lois really digging into the back of Doom. Doom saying, "Hey, here's how it feels." Yes, Lois Grain though in all sorts of trouble right there, right across that second rope. Star six nine. Beautifully done six, right one, there. Eight, but okay. Grain though, she's staggered, but she's on her feet. She may not know where she's at. Look at this. Oh no! Grain for <laughs> tornado DDT, but Grain too strong. Threw her right off. And a nice boot to the midsection. Grain setting up. DDT. Big B DDT right in the middle of the ring. Yeah, she's out. Cover That's one, it. two. Oh! Wow! Borden what? 
missed Hart. the count again. Credit where credit is due at the last possible second. Delilah Doom still finding an opening to survive. Five minutes to go in this match. And right now, this is almost Lois Grain's match to lose. There's well, a lot of doom in all sorts of trouble down there. But I, I will uh, say Lois Grain, Lois Grain has been successful by slowing down the pace. Hard to do with the, the time pace. limit. So slam. Coming to an Cover. end here. One, two, no, oh, two count again. The Lila Doom cooks, he kicks out. Don't get frustrated. You got this. No, you cannot get frustrated right now. You get frustrated right now, you make a mistake, and you don't want to make a mistake at this stage of the game. But again, gentlemen, it bears repeating. With the time limit winding down, that works against Lois Grain's established strategy of slowing things to a methodical pace. That is not easy to do when you're in crunch time. Very true, very true. Lois Grain now picks We're her up. We're in the Maybe final minutes. So no, goes for a roof. Roll up, one, two, She had the three. tights! Oh. She had the tights! What a roll up and out of nowhere from Delilah Doom. I don't think she even realized that she won. That's not fair to do. I think even Lois Grain's confused, but no, that was a three count. A beautiful roll up out there from the, out of the wheelbarrow. I mean, this matchup was 80-20. It was practically all Lois Grain, but all it takes is three seconds, and that's exactly what Delilah Doom got. You're right there. Gordon was completely biased in this one. I think Gordon did a fantastic job for his hey, first night look here. at him. He's, lo he's looking for his glasses. I knew he lost something. Gentlemen, at least we get to hear Robin Sparkles. Take another right. look here. Here we go. Take ba -ba 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 it anyway. Everybody come and play. Show every last caraway. Last caraway. Here we go. Let's go to the mall. Here we go. Today. Right. Chloe, oh. I love it. That's going to be the last <laughs> time I ever sing with you. Well, gentlemen, here's a match coming up that I was looking forward to, but after the recent actions of the Lucha Scumbag, Chris Nasty, not so sure. Yes, Chris, Chris Nasty, Nasty and the Mecha Wolf. Oh, let's let Kaz get to do his Back to the showboat. Oh, I'm Kaz. Enough. Behave. Chill out. Oh, I'm Kaz. I like monster tracks. Baseball. Oh, the storm. Don't get me started how much money I've lost on the storm games. And, and I can't even almost get excited for this man after what he did earlier tonight. Why? He's getting aggressive. If you want to get to the main event, you've got to make moves, and he had to drop the dead weight. There's a difference between being aggressive and attacking your best friend in front of his wife. For they didn't no look like reason. best friends to me. Yeah, we still have no explanation from Chris Nasty. We still have no idea why he did what he did. He didn't and respond to my text, but... It, you guys it. aren't friends. You have none. It cannot be overstated. Chris Nasty and Bovey inseparable. Like brothers, what could have, what could have led, yes, what could have led Chris Nasty to do this? I have no idea. Well, I'll tell you what, Chris Nasty has a tall, tall order in front of him tonight. He's facing a man who's basically a legend in Mexico, who's wrestled in Southern California, who's gone hardcore, who's done all sorts of things. He's got to face the Mecha Wolf. Yeah, we already saw the scumbag side of the Lucha Scumbag. Now we have to see the Lucha side of the Lucha Scumbag. And I do want to point out his ring jacket says low life. That's absolutely the truth. But you know what? Yeah, they're going to boo you. Yeah, exactly. He's not a liar. This man wasn't hiding who he was from the get-go. The fact you all fell for it's your problem. Why are you yelling at us? What did we do? Yeah, we want an explanation why you did what you did, Chris. Yeah. That's right. I, now that is that is a very, very brave statement. Chris Nasty clearly with a chip on his shoulder, clearly with something to prove here tonight. I don't think he understands just how hardcore Mecha Wolf can get if Chris Nasty goes, takes him to that place. It's more like a Mecha puppy, but we're gonna figure that out. I think Chris Nasty's got it. Oh, you call him that. There he comes. Yeah, you want to say that to his face, Reich? No, I'm good. I'm over. I'm over here. I'm a broadcast journalist. Yeah, you better stay up here. My ring work is done. Uh, he's 
probably just, you know, give him a treat, scratch him behind the ear. He's probably just a cute little puppy. Mecca Wolf, veteran of Mexico, wrestling in XPW here recently. He can go with the best of them. Again, if Chris Nasty wants to go Lucha, Mecha Wolf can match Lucha. If Chris Nasty wants to take his hardcore and bring it in the chair, well, Mecha Wolf can do that too. It is a full moon here tonight in Paris, California, as the Mecha Wolf arrives to the Valley Wrestling Connection. There's a lot of dogs in here too in Paris, California. <laughs> oh, they're asking the Mecha Wolf's call. I gotta say, credit where credit is due. Chris Nasty showing zero fear, oh, at least no. at least visually here tonight against the Mecha Wolf. You gotta think internally, shaking in his boots. But I mean, I, I don't like it. I don't respect it. But maybe no. this attitude change, turning exactly. his back on his brother Bovi, is doing something for Chris Nasty. We're about to Look find out. Look at the out. history of every tag team that has ever happened. You have Shawn Michaels, Marty Jannetty. Shawn Michaels went on to become the greatest wrestler alive. Chris Nasty is setting the standard for his. Oh, look at Nasty! And look at that aggression! From Attacking behind. the man before the bell. Stopping a mud hole right in his ass. But app. this is what he has to do if he thinks he's going to stand a chance against a man like Mechawolf. Mechawolf hasn't even chance, had a chance to get out of his fear yet. I'm loving this aggressive side of Mr. Nasty. Yeah, this is what Chris Nasty needs to do because he's not man enough. He's not wrestler enough to get the job done without a sneak attack pre match. Not a sneak attack. He came right at his face. I saw it. Oh, his back was turned and it's you not his fault what the, you saw. It's not his fault the dog had a mask on. There's the bell, and Nasty now doing exactly what we said he needed to do, right back on Look top the of the man. Yes, very aggressive. Oh, a whole new side of Chris Nasty, and he better keep this side. Oh, Ooh. big chuck. You can hear oh, that one through gonna, the chest protector. Mecha Wolf. make that puppy howl. Mecha Wolf Mecha has Wolf, that though, very thin know. layer of clothing here, and Chris Nasty cutting oh, through it with these knife edge chops. Wait a minute. I don't know if those shots are really having the desired effect that they should have. Whoa, Nasty dummy. Oh! Indeed. Big shot from Nasty Wolf. came and up his here feet. comes Mecha Wolf. Mecha Wolf showing Nasty how it's done. Mecha Wolf says, you want to trade chops? We'll trade Where's chops. Where's the ref? You got to count the corners here, ref. Winds oh! up overhead, chop right there. Walk it off, Nasty. Nasty. Yeah, he's doing the smart thing to get out of town, but I told you, Mecha Wolf's not gonna let him go. A chop so powerful. Go. Cut him off. One chop so powerful, it sent Chris Nasty spilling outside the ring. Chris Nasty, Nasty. another man who's oh. been here in VWC since the very beginning. Started off with a back injury, but ever since he came back from that back injury, he has been on a tear that few wrestlers have been on. This, this though, this is by and far his biggest challenge to date. If he can pull off a win against Mecha Wolf, that should do a lot for him here in VWC. Maybe even get him a spot in that prestigious tournament. I mean, it absolutely would. But right now, Chris Nasty has found himself deep in the Wolf's lair. I don't think this is what Chris Nasty wants no, to do. this is what he does not want at all. You're right, you're right, Jordan. He wants to keep that match in that ring, well, not outside. You mentioned Mecha Wolf with that hardcore deathmatch, oh, extreme aggression. expertise. Yes. Chris Nasty does not want to go crazy for crazy with the Mecha Wolf here. Oh, no, but look at that, Chris. I think you guys are underestimating oh, Nasty here. He, he is showing an aggressive side. He's got the puppy on all fours. He's but showing he... an aggressive side. He rolled back in the ring. Again, I'm not sure where cameras caught it, but just saying, ah, forget about it. He's going to take the easy count out victory. That's, hey, yeah, that's an aggressive when you're side. In that ring, you got to take a breather sometimes. Listen to the crowd, though, firmly behind Mecha Wolf. Oh, Chris Nasty, though, benefited being the first time waiting for Mecha Wolf to get back in the ring and then laying the boots to him. Nasty taking the cheap, easy way out here tonight against the Mecha Wolf. Brings him to his feet now. Scoop, oh, look at, blocked by Mechel, very powerful man right there. Chris Nasty couldn't get him up. Nah, he's not gonna get him up that right easy, even I'm saying there. that. Chris Nasty now, setting him for another forearm, oh, another right hand. Hooks him up for a super, but look at oh! Mechel Wolf, Wolf power. just a little too big, just a little too strong for that, gentlemen. Now even I'm gonna have to admit, Nasty's gonna have to work on him a little more before he starts throwing him around. So much howling in the crowd, crowd flavor, especially after what he did earlier. Chris Nasty is not here tonight. Mecha Wolf getting the crowd behind him. Some of the little puppies howling here made some messes over here. Oh, starting to smell bad. Enough, talk, enough talking about puppies. That's another commentator's thing. All Come I'm on. saying is, 
We're in Paris, California. It's not just the smell Nasty of Paris, but we are here. Referee now breaking him up. That's an illegal choke right there, Justin. Yeah, Nasty has got to oh. be very, very careful. He doesn't get himself disqualified here Kicks against the, the Mecca Wolf. Kicks Take the it to the roll. edge. You know the count. Got a five count in that corner. Get him to the four. Ducks beautifully done right there. Ducks on the form. Smooth right. Look at Nasty both of man right now. Oh! Look at that kick. Beautiful kick, caught him right in the face. Did you hear that, gentlemen? I mean, we're hearing, we're wearing headphones and we could hear that. Oh, solid I shot. I felt cover. One, two. No, oh, almost two count. Two count right there, almost three. Big, this, this will be the biggest win of Chris Nash's career if he can pull it off. Biggest both literally and figuratively, because yes. the Mecha Wolf's a gigantic star in the world of wrestling. He's also just a gigantic man on planet yes, Earth. very, very true. Now look at the slowing down for Chris Nash. Wearing forward. him down, that's exactly what he's got to do. Cut off his air supply. Our referee Steve in there checking on Mecha Wolf. Mecha Wolf still with him though. Why are you even mentioning the ref, you know? Center of the ring mustache. here, guys. Mecha Wolf is fading and he is fading fast here. Yes, he is though. Really got that, that rear naked choke almost cinched in. Mecha Wolf, one. Two. Two, that's it. That's this, right. Yeah, this, this might, might be it, guys. Out. That's it. Oh! No, 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 no. Mecha Wolf's uh, still there. He, he put the wrong hand up. At the last possible second. He got his hand up. Mecha Wolf finds life. Like right. a zombie reincarnated, rises to his feet. Fights back to his feet, you're right. Low right. blows from them, Beautiful look at that. Shots to the there we go, cut right him there. off. And now shots to the midsection right there. Chris that little bit of momentum, Chris Nassi cut it off real quick. Ducks the clothesline, Mecha Wolf now. Beautiful springboard punch up. Cover. Two. No, two count only. Again, we talk about the power. Back elbow. Elbow. The power is evident looking at the Mecha Wolf, but how about that springboard? Such athletic precision from the man. You're right. Let me You're just right. say this, for every move Cover. Mr. Wolf Two. gives, Nasty has a response. You're right, he has had a response every single time, being able to cut the Mecha Wolf off. The minute Mecha Wolf gets any sort of momentum, it seems like Chris Nasty is right there to stop it. Listen guys, I've sung the praises of Chris Nasty for the better part of two years. He is a fantastic wrestler. Right. you just wrestler. turned on him. What kind of friend are you? He's a, di I'm not a friend, I'm a, I'm a broadcast journalist. He is, okay, a, he is a diamond in the rough here in the Southern California professional Very wrestling true. scene. Broadcast true. journalist is. That, that doesn't just magically change over the course of Nasty 30 minutes. Like, no, but Mecha Wolf holds on. I think he wanted to throw him over the top rope to the outside, but he didn't realize. Mecha oh! Wolf, beautiful spear to the second rope. Nice spear there by the Mecha Wolf, but has to capitalize here, gentlemen. He's Nasty smart. Something. He's getting to the corner there, getting some air. Letting the, letting the ropes help him pick himself up right there, using the ropes. He's gonna have to but recover Mecha from Wolf, that one. Mecha Wolf is also getting back to his feet, gentlemen. And I think Mecha Wolf's waking up a little bit. Chris Nazi seems like he's in a world of trouble right there. Oh! Big clothesline in the corner. Oh! And step up in Seguri. Nasty's in trouble. Oh, look at the cartwheel. Drop kick right at the top of the head. And every time Mecha Wolf gets an advantage, Nasty rolls out, gets some air. Mecha Wolf. Hold on. The top's coming is off. Is the big man gonna fly? Look at this. Oh, oh, right into the guardrail. Dive through the bottom ropes. Did you see that, gentlemen? Yeah, nice low pay, as they call it there, from yeah. the Mecha Wolf. And I'm not sure if it's we not... caught it, but Chris Nasty's back and neck landed very, very, shall I say, nastily on those ringside hey, barricades. Nasty, very nasty. nasty. Look at that. Oh. You're right. Side of the head catching that ring. Those, those rings wow. there. Side of the wow. head and, and really the entire back there. Nasty's yeah. in a very bad way. I think I brought some Tylenol. I'm gonna check on him after the match. Nasty needs, you know, he's gonna need more Tylenol right now. Mega Wolf could be going for the 450. He is known as Mr. 450. No, double stop, no, rolls through. Nasty though, look at this. Pop up oh! power bomb. Dude. Oh, the resilience of Nasty. Nasty kicks out, I cannot do that. Nasty probably going, maybe going for a, a hurricane runner right there, but Mecha Wolf too strong to be his cover, and what a beautiful pop-up powerball. Again, especially as a luchador, Chris Nasty is a very big man, probably used to being the bigger man yes. in most matchups. He's got to be careful to adjust his strategy against someone like the Mecha Wolf, lest you get caught in a pop-up situation. You got to give it to now, Nasty. Mecha Wolf now taking all sorts of time. Chris Nasty, though, he's in a world of trouble, guys. He's stripping. Me oh, he pulled the knee. Knee brace down. Hey, it's Rob close to show, midnight. Buddy. No, missed the knee. That's right. Nasty now, what's he going for? Showing his quickness. Look at this. Oh, oh big form. Oh. Back elbow catches. Double Mecha Wolf. shots. 
Mechawolf now rolling to the outside, trying to gather himself two big shots to the head right there from Chris Nasty. Chris Nasty is really impressing me tonight. Yes, he's. He, I will give you that, Justin. He is really showing off tonight. He reminds me of a younger me. A lot younger, right? With hair? A lot younger with hair, yeah. Hold on. Okay. Gentlemen, no. gentlemen, Chris no. Nasty Chris took Nasty a second again. too long. No, Chris Nasty, no. Knew that was coming. Beautiful, Beautiful. new Thunderball. Two. Michael Wolf kicks out at this two and a half. This ref just can't get to three, can he? He didn't go to school. Well, I don't think. Where's that, the principal? I doubt that, it, that was, those shoulders were down for three. Again, have got has you have got to give the devil his due. You have got to give Chris Nasty his due here. Oh, he was definitely. You're right. Very quick thinking to catch Mecha Wolf in that blue thunder bomb, but See, no, no thinking here. Arguing with the official, turning his back on a downed he Mecha was Wolf. Just telling him what the next number is that he's got to say. It's three. But you couldn't be more right, Jordan. Learning from earlier in the match, and he got hit with that spear through the second rope, and now turning it into the blue thunder bomb. Beautiful job. Chris Nasty has done his homework tonight. Again, Nasty, a very smart wrestler. Terrible very. person, but a very smart wrestler. You're right about that. But he's wasting too much time right now. I, I, I think you're right. He's making his mistake Spring here. Work. Look at uh -oh. Mecha Wolf caught him. Mecha German caught suplex. Him. Oh, what a German suplex. Release German. Mecha Wolf now. The Still got that knee pad down. The momentum bringing oh. Nasty up to his knees, but gets caught. Wizard calling him. One, two. Oh, Chris Nasty kicks out, and look at the look on Mecha Wolf's face. Mecha Wolf can hardly believe it. Chris Nasty wants it. He I wants the win. Right now. Yes, Chris Nasty is really showing something tonight. I can't believe he kicked out of that right there. Mecha Wolf can't believe he kicked out of that. We have a This Is Awesome chant, gentlemen. And you know this what, is I'm gonna awesome. give it to it. It is awesome. Nasty's performance is worth this chant. Both of these athletes giving everything they can. It is the one year anniversary of the VWC here. Valentine's Crush, and 100 Mr. strong. Mr. 450 is calling for the 450. This might be exactly what he needs. That game ending maneuver he's looking for, gentlemen. Michael Wolf now is sitting in the top rope. Playing to the crowd. He's howling at the moon. Calling all the puppies. <laughs> and the crowd reciprocates. Well, oh, Chris Nasty playing possum. Oh, cut Rocking him off. Him out on the top row. Yeah, this has been the story of this match. Nasty cuts him off at every chance he can get. And I an love it. in the back of the head. Mecha Wolf now in all sorts of trouble, really in a precarious position right there, sitting on the top rope yeah. like that. Nasty crotching Mecha Wolf. I know Mecha Wolf with his offense oftentimes seems inhuman. I can promise you he is feeling that. Oh, he is. Beautiful Big chop. chop now. Look at the sweat flying off the chest of Mecha Wolf. Shows just how hard these athletes have Mecha been going. Mecha does not want to be up there with Nasty, that's no, for sure. No, he does not. Chris Nasty now going for a superplex. Yeah, tell those kids to quiet down down there. I think he should Artist be more focused on Mecha Wolf and not on the children, but... No! Mecha Wolf now, hand on the top rope. Oh! Mecha Wolf now, series Illegal of rip shots to the midsection. Lines him out! No. And now, and now, Chris oh, Nasty's no. in a world of trouble. Roll now out. we're gonna see that 450, gentlemen. Nasty Mecha roll. Wolf setting up for it, calling for it. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a Mecha Wolf. Nasty, Here he no. comes. No. Oh, look at that. At the last second, decided against it. Chris Nasty. Oh. oh. Mecha Wolf now hit that. That, that turnbuckle came down a little bit. He might have hit the metal. I don't know what you're talking about. He was just holding on to the robes. Oh, now, now, Chris Nasty setting him up, thinking Mustache Mountain here. Here he comes. Can he hit Mustache Mountain on the big man? Me you know what? Mecha Wolf might be out of there. Mustache ride. Oh! oh! Drops him. Cover. One, two, two three. three. Oh, beautiful performance by Chris Nasty. You know, I, I've got to agree with you, Justin, but at the same time, I gotta wonder, that exposed turnbuckle, look at how much that turnbuckle is, is, is pulled down. Hey, he hits that top ring, and that might be what knocked him out. Circumstances happen in that ring. Circumstances, I think he pulled down. We're gonna see Mustache Mountain one more time. For better or worse, this one of the most important nights of Chris Nasty's career. Turning his back on best friend Bovi and by virtue, the entire VWC faithful, and then picking up a momentous victory against the Mecha Wolf. What a huge victory again. Circumstances be what they may. We can, we can debate all we want. We can love it or hate it, gentlemen. That is your future.
VWC star right there, Chris Nasty. Record Wolf now, look at Record Wolf now, talking to the referee, telling him. Chris Nasty, no doubt with his sight set on that King of the Valley Championship. Again, a tournament will be coming down the pipeline this spring. You would have to think he's got to be in the running for a spot. Beating a, a legend like Mecca Wolf has got to put him in that tournament. Well, remains to be seen, but we know the first entrant in that tournament is going to be decided tonight right. as the winner of our pre-show battle royal, Alan Breeze, head-to-head -head with the winner of our main event, Scramp. Elimination scramble match, what a match that's going to be. What a, we have so much more in store for everybody tonight. We still have the real one. Woo! Forget about it. it. How are you it. doing? I'm doing fine, how are you? I'm excellent. Yeah. Especially that on your with head. Paris, California <laughs> stacked to the gills. You wish you had hair like this, my friend. How dare you? I have that a glorious is, that, beard, that's all that's I need. a beautiful head of hair right there. That's my fiance, she loves it. Kaz. Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is set for one fall with a 30 minute time limit. And here we go. One of our main events tonight. What is he doing out here? Mr. James back out here again. He opened the festivities. He's the reason we're here, gentlemen. Yep, Mr. James, our owner. It's gotta Coming be important business. I was expecting Honest John and Enoch the Enlightened to come out here. Instead, I got this guy. Not yet. We have a special guest here tonight. I want to bring out the mayor of Paris, the city of Paris. Mayor Vargas, come on out here. The mayor? The mayor? Look at that, you know Mr. James is a big deal. I didn't vote for him. This a true even here? This a true community spectacle. I own some land. And very happy to have the community embracing us here tonight. Very happy yes. to welcome the mayor to the Valley Wrestling Connection. How do you come out here and enjoy what's been a fantastic night of action so far? I wouldn't let him kiss my baby. It's only going to get better. We have got the wonderful city of uh, Paris mayor here and we are so thankful that he invited us to come out here to have Valentine's Crush in the city of Paris at the Bob Glass Gym. Let's give a big round of applause for our mayor. What are you clapping for? What is he clapping? It's not polite. I don't know what he stands for. It's polite. Fix the potholes, buddy. Thank you, Mr. Jay. I want to thank everybody for being out here in Paris. He's a natural. Uh, little Michael Buffer right there. Oh, okay, maybe we can replace Kaz after all. <laughs> wait a minute. Hold on, what wait, is, wait what is this? What is this? Oh, that's, oh, oh. That's, that's Honest John's music. Oh, Enoch! And here comes e Enoch the Enlightened. Why? I mean, ready to enlighten this beautiful crowd here in Paris, California. It's, it's not his time yet. He's white. What is he doing interrupting the mayor of all people? The boil on the rear of the VWC. Enoch the Enlightened comes out here. Without Honest Jones, what, what, he's running uh, against him. I guess he's gonna tell us. Enoch, Enoch's got my vote. That's right. No, that's just rude. Hey, he said shut your mouth. That's just, Enoch making friends already. I want it completely silent before Honest John. Yeah, hush. Well, why don't you have to interrupt everybody, you know? What if you interrupt? Hold on. Oh, the mayor's taking his jacket off. The mayor is indeed oh. ready to rumble, gentlemen. Okay, everyone, take it easy. Take it easy. He's going to have a cardiac arrest. I, I don't know. I, I would take the mayor over Enoch. That's not the mayor. I saw the guy serving nachos earlier.
Well, I may not. Honestly, I like John. I may <laughs> dislike Enoch the Enlightened. I may dislike Honest John even more. But one thing that cannot be disputed is that this man is undefeated here right. in the Valley Wrestling Connection. Honest John has been here since our very first show one year ago. He has wrestled on every show and he has yet to take a loss. And that includes beating people like the Brian Kendrick, Gangrel, and everybody else that's been put in his way. But the one thing, the one sticking point that everybody puts to him is how much of it is him and how much of it is Enoch's help? Hey, I think you're losing the point of the fact that Honest John is an amazing athlete. He beat those guys on him. He was the one that, that got the three counts. Oh, he was the one that got those wins. You're, you're saying he beat them on his own? Yeah, he did. Then why is Enoch the Enlightened in his corner? For enlightenment. Oh. Everyone, show him some respect. He is one of the few undefeated wrestlers here. It might be him and Mike Rain, and that's about it. Wow, well, it's questionable, ain't it? John doesn't even know where he's at. Wait, wait, wait. When I got my plane ticket, it didn't sell the same run. Southern Wait. California. How did they elect a stupid man like you? Now that's the, well, that look is a crowd, honest John. <laughs> look at this that, crowd. No, that's just. Listen, listen. I haven't seen a single bag yet. I haven't seen this, a single. Oh, oh, oh. I haven't even gotten a bonjour. He's right. Bonjour. Who's going to break it to him that they're so different? I'm not going to. It looks like uh, this stupid man needs to get out of my room. No, I... Oh, hey, put your finger on me again. I'm slapping the glasses off your face. <laughs> the problems between Honest I John and Mr. James are well documented. This has been your... going on oh, a God. long oh, time. Oh, Honest oh, John oh, and Enoch oh, have been a oh, thorn oh, in the oh, side oh, of Mr. James. For Mr. I, James better be careful because I'd have that is an entire athlete right there. This is the BWC. What do you got? Last show, Mr. James oh, no. brought in Gangrel. And this time, you hear that music. Gentlemen, you know what I think Enoch and Honest John are? A cup of haters. Oh, and here not. comes the real one. Oh, Jesus. The crowd comes alive for the former cruiserweight champion. And here yeah, he former is, is the, uh, the ladder there. And here he is wrestling right here for BWC. And doing the smart thing, interrupting on his John, almost attacking Mr. James. The real one entering not a moment too soon. And yeah, there you see Enoch scurrying out of the ring like the true coward he is, happy to be in here and intimidate the mayor, who isn't even a, a trained professional, a wrestler, an athlete at all. But as soon as Enzo Amore gets in the ring, he scurries out. I'm sure you have an excuse for that too, right? Enzo feels like, it looks like he fell through a uh, laundry chute and just came out with whatever was in there. I think those are my shorts. Uh-oh. Well, given what's on the back. <laughs> Hey, where's Big Jeff? Didn't he have like a big guy with him all the time or something like that? That was Big Jeff. Right now, he could probably use a tag team partner because, yes, you mentioned Enoch scurrying out of the ring. But Enoch will make his presence known in this match.
No, that's Honest John and Enoch the Enlightened. No, I think he's got it right the first time. Christmas magic. Yeah, I mean, we all know that. here. I mean, come on. When the real one says we're going to wrestle. Or when Honest John gets in the ring. That, that, that's low. You know, if, if anyone's a hater, it's him. Honest John's done nothing wrong here. You hear that? He's gonna melt his ice cream leaf. doing too well after all that. The warning has been set down to Enoch, though, not to get involved. Yeah, the real one making his point very, very clear, sending a was message. Was that clear? That was very was that clear? clear. That was did a lot of not, rambling. Did you not hear him say he was going to leave out I the heard ice cream? about ice cream on uh, the counter. Come on. In a roundabout way. It wasn't clear is all I'm saying. What is Now, what is going on with Enoch and Honest John now? Who are they yelling at now? They need to get in the ring. Hey, he'll get in the ring when he feels it's time. Gentlemen, clear or not, it clearly served its purpose, and that is to get in the head of Honest John. He, he is shook here. Well, it takes a lot to shake Honest John. And for last show, he had to face Gangrel. This show, he's facing a former Cruiserweight champion, like you said. Again, John, Honest John has been on a roll. Big win after big win after big win, but this could be the win. When we talk wow. about wins that put you in the tournament, this would be a win that would put him in the tournament. Are you actually giving John his flowers for the first time ever? You have to give him some flowers. Again, he has no losses, be it with by himself or be it with Enoch. The record stands for itself. He has no losses. There, That's right. There are distinct, hold on here, clean break from the clean real one. 
Very nicely done. There are distinct similarities between the real one and Honest John, or shall I say, an old version of the real one. Very how, true. How many times have you heard about how the real one had a, a big mouth, how he got himself in trouble with a big mouth? You're Who right. in the VWC does that sound like? That sounds like Honest John. So yep. clearly Honest John may be trying to beat some past demons, maybe trying to curb a perception here tonight against the real one. Honest John now shoots him off. Look at the real one though. Round Honest round John, round look at that round roundabout. Up. Neither man can get the hip toss right there. Now Very evenly matched. Up. Very evenly matched. John is deceptively powerful for his size. He doesn't look it, you may not see it, but there is a lot of power there. Not Honest John in excellent shape, though I do have to give credit to the real one. Always a relatively diminutive competitor. Again, a cruiserweight champion has put on some serious muscle mass in recent years. I yes. saw Enzo on the back having a parm sub. Meanwhile, you got Honest John doing 500 squats Headlock to prepare Sager for right this. There. Well, he's muscles marinara, he's bulking. Yes. Now with the side headlock. That side headlock, he's really got his safety, not letting go of it either. Honest John though shoots him off. I don't think that's gonna work. John may be strong, but he's not as big as 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 a, as a real one. Excuse me. He's so got a drop kick right there. He's got something the real one doesn't have, and that's Enoch the Enlightened. Look at him, right there, taking care of his man. Enoch now getting trying to get John back in the ring. The real Ran one, him off. There it is. The real one is doing the smart thing though. He is taking his time. He is the veteran in this match. He's the man who knows what he needs to do to win this match. Honest John taking all advantage of that tank town outside though. Yeah, giving the real one time to strategize. I'm not sure how wise this is to leave an opening up for the veteran. Now he's, he's trying to beg off. The real one's gonna let him back in the ring. Honest John is taking his time. He is, he is getting, look at that. Letting him know what he's gonna do to him. Honest John, yep. Of course, I want to point crowd, out the, the real one here in oh, Los Angeles. Cheap shot. A little slap to the face, look. What, what can Honest look John at Honest John. Him? That is a class act. He's not losing his. Honest he's John, not losing his head. Honest John wants to wrestle. Oh. Honest no. John. Honest John lost his head a long time ago, Reich. You're right about that. He wanted to wrestle, but he tried no, to fool right him with a kick, and now real one caught the foot. Look, spin around. There you go. Side headlock takedown over again. Where did we find this guy? Now Honest John. Him. Beautiful takeover again. Michael, turn it on I, me now. No, I'm not turning on you. I didn't find one. Why is everyone looking at me? <laughs> the real one here, staying on top. I like Jordan. Staying on top. Here's 20, buddy. <laughs> of Honest John here. Oh, man, as I was pointing out, wearing the oh, first oh, Honest ever. John. Honest, there's that opportunist right there. That neck and that shoulder really were wrenched on that top rope. That was an unorthodox way of getting ahead of this match, but that is why he is undefeated. The You're real right about that. He does take any and every opportunity he can to get an upper hand. Well, talk about getting every opportunity. Look at Enoch oh, the Enlightened. He was just, just checking on him. It. Yeah, caught Justin, by referee Justin Borden. You're right. Okay, he was well, caught a second right before he was about to do something. And there, what did we say? Where is it? does not fail. Enoch Honest John and Borden himself. having a discussion. Rock, paper, scissors right there, it looked like. I gotta Enoch say, gentlemen, what there. happened? What happened to the, the, the real one? The real one made it very clear yeah. in his pre-match speech. He said that if Enoch the Enlightened got involved in this matchup, he would melt his ice cream and he would do a hell of a lot worse. He, right now, the real one's got his own problems to worry about. He's in all sorts of trouble right there in that corner. Big head, but oh, kind of rocked on his John for a second. Honest John now bringing the bigger man out of the ring. No reversal. Ducked out. Big there it foot is. cut him off. Oh, the real one is really thinking about things now. He's he's really considering his options here. Oh, geez, though, in a big, big way right now. I think he Honest pooped John. himself. Honest John's got to <laughs> stay on top of him. Look at the strength. I told you on the power, big scoop and a slam right now from Honest John. Roman now staggers in the corner. Honest John follows up. Who's Beautiful a hater now? In the face. Decidedly still Honest John. Honest John is taking complete control of this match. Cover here from John. One one, is understanding two. what Gangrel John. found out of the last show. John with the, with the forearm across the chin. Very nicely done right there in the pin. The crowd rallying behind the real one. He has to use that energy. He has to use that, that burst of stamina. Feed off of the crowd here if he can. Big right hand from Honest John. I don't know if he can though. He's in a world of trouble. Honest John is really taking control of this match. I'm really impressed right now that Honest John could take control of this match. However, we do have to once again point out, Justin, that he took control after Enoch's interference. Uh, I didn't see that. 
Uh, honest, John, I'm saying. Honest, John, oh, honest John. My new glasses. Gentlemen, waiting. Honest John is a spectacular competitor. Oh, Angelo comes out hard with the back well, out thank the you. corner. It's about time you said something Here's about Here's the nice thing. I don't think he needs the rule oh, bending. I don't think he needs slam. the rule breaking, and I don't think he needs Enoch the Enlightened as the real one finds a way back in. But we won't know that until Enoch stops interfering in his matches. But now, I, I, Honest I, John's I, hunting with the tree of woe right, right now. Enoch does not interfere. He helps. He assists. The blood rushing that to the head of Honest John. This does not look good for the benevolent bad seed. Hut, hut. Oh, four right to the midsection. That's illegal, right? I mean, that that can't be. I mean, he wasn't choking him. He was just hung up on the top row cover. One, two, no, there. two count. Honest John, resiliency is his middle name. And it's really showing right now. Right now, the real one's got to stay on top of him, though. Sizing him up. Oh, big punt. Field goal, he says, very good. I don't know if it was good. I think he's a Jets fan. <laughs> oh. Well, it the is. The real one now standing the top rope. It is Super Bowl weekend, but look what at is, this. Look at Enoch. What is Enoch doing? Once he's again, hi. interjecting We've himself. Oh, oh. Enoch crossing with Justin. Referee Justin just. Why are you yelling my Justin. name? Justin Borden. Oh. Once again, distracted by Stop. John. Enoch crouching the real one on the top row. He's not like this, not assessment. like this, no. come on! For one, two, oh! Well, the real, real one. one, real one in a world of hurt here. Just, oh, oh, big kick to the face. I saw no interference Look at there. John, though, no wasted motion, number one. No, one count only. Again, I think Honest John gets lazy. I think he gets sloppy. He relies on Enoch the Enlightened, knowing he's here to even the score. We have not seen Honest John at his fullest potential here in the BWC. Who's undefeated? Honest John, I think. Well, he could honestly, be I think you need to think about that. I think second. Honest John could be undefeated without the interjection of Enoch He's the undefeated Enlightened. now. Yeah, Why change well, anything? Oh, oh, big face wash in the corner. That was a broski boot if I've oh, ever seen one. It was. Real one in all sorts of trouble. Honest John, look at. What I've got to be impressed right now, there is no wasted motion. From Cover here. He is one move after another two. No, oh, two count. He is one follow up. He is making sure that in, uh, the real one has to earn and work for every single kick out he gets right now. Again, gentlemen, Honest John, a spectacular competitor. It's what's. It's what stop makes, right there. That's where he should It's stop. what makes the rule no, bending and rule breaking so frustrating. Rule breaking? Yes. Anytime you know. It's only interjects. breaking the rules if you get caught. That's true too, but Enoch is always there, and you have like. like it's, actually, Jordan, it's actually not true. Like Jordan saying, <laughs> is that is that his security blanket? Can he ever win a match without his security blanket? Well, right now we may not find out. The real one perched on the top rope in a very bad way. He's got those donut eyes to all glazed over, oh, gentlemen. Honest John now hooking him up, like calling for a superflex. Take him down, John. If he's able oh. to hit this, if he's able to hit this, the real one is out. Enzo, sorry, the real one holding on. The OG zone, nope, not letting, fighting up. No, a series of right hands in the midsection. Really fighting off of there. Big headbutt knocks on his John off the second row. Honest John, better watch out. Real one, not sure where he's at. Look at Honest John, catching him and tossing him right off the top row. But real one with the momentum back up to his feet. But oh, beautiful back, back kick right there. Catching the real one, real one's down. Cover, one, two. Oh, two and a half right there. Honest John is getting close though. Honest John Look was late the to the cover here, wasn't able to capitalize immediately and it may have cost him. Honest beautiful John right at the top. In one motion, beautifully done. Beautiful swanton bomb. Picture perfect. He's gotta follow up though. But he, again. Him, you're right, he's wasting too much time. Sorry to you off, Jordan. Is it wasting time or can he literally not capitalize? One, Finally two. does. Oh no. Right. Two. No, oh, beautiful reversal right there from the row one. On a shot, oh! Oh, takes him down with an STO. Near fall off the crucifix there. Oh, oh and he's got a showboat like it. always. And gentlemen, you simply can't teach that. No, you cannot. Here comes the OG zone, climbing to the top rope. He's perched. Look at those Kobe's, look at it. Oh, beautiful bulldog right there. Off the top rope, Honest John, cover. One, two, and there. Enoch the Enlightened. Enoch. I didn't see it. There's what Enoch happened? Again. What happened? Here's oh, what happened. I saw Enzo e just slide right out. He could have had the win. I don't know what happened. Enoch the Enlightened pulling the real one outside the ring, and referee Justin Borden calling for the disqualification. Borden caught Enoch this time. Unnecessary. 
this was that was the third time. Unnecessary. I don't think the real one wanted to win that way. He's not happy with Enoch Honest right John. now. Enoch, He's, you're getting a lot worse than your ice cream melted, my friend. He is stalking Enoch the Enlightened right now. The Honest real John one just got his first loss thanks to Justin Borden. Well, Honest John still is up and Pinder submitted here in BWC. Look at Enoch. Oh, oh Enoch on the, on the railing right there. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's oh, not, Enoch's in trouble. He's not Enoch. thinking Razor's Edge. Razor, he's got him up on the Razor's Edge. Not as, Look at the height. Oh, my God. Look at him. Look at him carry Enoch around. Put him ring. down. Put him down. I think he's going to. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Oh. I, Head first on the steel post. And I, it couldn't happen to a nicer guy. You've got to think that might Enoch. have finally been Enoch. Oh, I don't think the real one's done yet. The real one. Come on. Oh, he's, oh, he's looking for just oh, security. The real one looking for Shadon there. But Honest John, very wisely. Very wisely. Very cowardly as he scurries to the outside. I mean, a victory is a victory, but you gotta, you have to think that the real one did not want to win on a disqualification because of, of Enoch. Well, though you can clearly well, see the frustration here. Oh, well, we're gonna hear the frustration too. Honest John and Enoch, the enlightened, the victors, but you wouldn't know it looking at them. Now he's getting oh God, why do we have to hear him again? Uh oh, You tell him that. What, he already cheated to win. That was Enoch that cheated. Oh, I don't know. I'm not good. I, we're a lot better than Enoch is. I'm not good. Honest John's perfect record has been ruined because of this guy and Justin Borden. Bad call by the referee. I mean. You guys want to give me hot hugs, hugs, handshakes? I got you, Triple H. Thank you. Well, the real one. We are going to intermission, folks. We've had a great first half uh, action. We've got so much. Look, more look at to the come. replay here. Let, let's look see this head. again and again this. and again and again. Oh, Just keep playing oh, it over. Attacking an innocent man like that. An innocent what, man. What are we even three doing? Three times here? in that match, he interjected himself. What That's, are we how even is he doing? Innocent? We got to restore order. We will be right back very shortly. Ridiculous. This is ridiculous. No, you're ridiculous. I'm getting. Right I'm getting a hot dog. What's with the attitude? Just getting a hot dog.
Welcome back, wrestling fans. We are kicking things off with the second half of Valentine's Crush, the card, head to head with the Krusty Crew in tag team action. Whatever, man, they had no hot dogs. I'm, I'm still not really excited about that. That's all I'm saying. They ran out, we sold out. Where are we at right now, who is it? The card. Of course, that is Johnny Suave and Chris Evans with Fallen Gray by their side. Fallen Gray. Get it right. Pronounced it wrong, I bet. Now, these two are some of the most talented wrestlers around. Absolutely a staple of tag team wrestling here in California. A real generational clash tonight. Also stars in Arizona. You got the king of AZ, Chris Evans, and his, uh, his best friend, Johnny Suave. They've ruled the West Coast for a very long time. That much is true for their opponents tonight. Well, they may be giving them a run for their money. I wouldn't put it. I wouldn't put it like that. I'd say the card is going to have everything they need. All the tools are in their toolbox. They're about to unload, and you're about to see how talented these two are. Yes, indeed. The card making their debut here for BWC, but like you said, they are very much established veterans. It was you that took all the hot dogs, wasn't it? I did. I knew it. Children were hungry. Fellas. Oh. We've but, seen, I, I should say, we've heard some pretty spectacular entrance music tonight, but this might rival them all, baby. The Krusty Crew, rising stars here on the scene. The Krusty scene. Crab? No, 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 the Krusty Crew. Oh, I'm just hungry. Yeah, I think he's gonna be a problem the rest of this show. There they come! The Krusty Crew, Dirty Dog, Kubrick, Lucas, Riley. They look crusty. Had a great showing not too long ago in the Santino Brothers Tournament and really trying to make a foothold. And I guess a great way to do it would be to take out an established team like the card. The but card is going to show you something tonight. But I will say the Krusty Crew, you're talking about establishing. They've established, I should say, easy for me to say, quite a niche for themselves in recent months, both as tag team partners, as they are tonight, and as opponents. They have ruled the roost of Southern California. Well, sometimes they say that the two good opponents make even better tag team partners, and right now the Crusty Crew is showing that. They know each other like the back of their hands. They've even been featured on national television. Have they're, the Krusty Crew. They're oh, gonna SpongeBob have to SquarePants. <laughs> not not, not Nickelodeon. <laughs> here we go. Here we go, fellas. Come on. What is that snot rag he's carrying? You are the dancing Look at Jordan queen. Go. Oh, Young the car takes the car out. Seventeen. I really need you to stop singing now. Okay? It's ABBA. They're it's spectacular. Great. Lucas Riley. You're just angry, Justin. <laughs> furious right now. <laughs> Lucas Riley and Dom Kubrick with excellent entrance music, but their wrestling skills, their tag team cohesion may even rival the dulcet tones of ABBA. You know, as, true. as silly as they are acting, they got to get real serious real quick because well, they will. the card is going to put them through the ringer. Watch. Chris Evans is a danger, dangerous man. He is a big, big man. And they're clearly the power advantage all right there. Dom and, and Lucas Riley, very much quick tag team. Suave can probably keep up with that speed, but then you've got that power of Chris Evans that they've got to contend with. Suave, who has held multiple Southern California championships yes. around. Same with Chris Evans. Haven't been in Southern California in a long time, making their VWC debuts tonight against, like I said, another team making their VWC debut. Suave telling them all to just hold off. Evans now is telling the same thing. Oh, Crossing Crew, clearly the front crowd favorites here tonight. They brought a whole, they brought a contingency with them. They are the hot new flavor of ice cream. I say that not as an insult. Oh, leave the bear alone. But tonight, because they have Chris. something to prove. They're not against other blue chippers. They're not against other upstarts. You're right, you're right. They have, they are up against a bevy of experience right there in the card. Crew getting in the head of Evans already. Yeah, 
the card doesn't really. The card just getting in those cheers. Well, the card doesn't really work Why? as well with the rhythm. I don't understand. I'm telling you right Why are now. I'm talking to you. Because he, he respects me and I respect him. When that is makes talent one right person. There. When, okay. when, when, Johnny Suave has class. Hold on. People. When we say the, you say car. It doesn't really work. It doesn't really work no. in the rhythm. When I say the, you say car. The. Nope. Car. No. See? No. No, they're saying. They're saying the card. That's what don't they're saying out so. there. That's what I'm hearing. The card a little beside themselves. I gotta be honest, I'm surprised they're letting the Krusty Cruise antics get in their head here. Yeah, that you're right nah, there, nah, Jordan. They're, they're actually getting in the crusty the, the crab's head. Shut up, That's Richard. SpongeBob. <laughs> right, you're on a roll, man. Goodness. Go, that's gonna be hard position for him to keep right there. Two the packets of mustard is all I have. Oh, look at the arm right there. Arm ringer now. Chris Evans showing that power. How that about that? About. Evans with the decided size oh, advantage using that speed. power. And there's the agility. Arm ringer of his own right there. Beautifully done. Look at the top wrist lock right there by Riley. They call Lucas Riley top notch for a reason, fellas. Indeed they do. He's really got good. But there, look at the, look at that. Look at the reversal right there by Evans. Now the go behind him is the hammer lock. You're the man. That's right. He's the man. He's the best. Are you, what is this? What is this love affair? What is, I don't understand this. This isn't a love affair. This is oh respect. Well, Lord. gentlemen, the card taking a moment to bask in the hatred, the vitriol of the Paris faithful and now paying for it. Lucas Riley reversing into a headlock of his own. I think Suave needs to pay attention to the match and not to his friend over here, Justin. Hey, we're not good with side headlock takeover right there. Yeah, are you a broadcast journalist or not? Yeah. I am a broadcast journalist. How are you? I know the to card be very well. And the card Cover. has talent. You, you, you maybe you know, know the card. You maybe know the card three. a little too well. You yeah, maybe know him a little too well. A well, if I know anything, right they're going to come over here and smack you in the head if you keep talking bad about them. Well, right now, the you card. Wanna, you don't want to mess with Chris Evans, okay? Chris no. Evans is a dangerous man. Chris Evans has his hands full with Lucas Riley right now. Contend. And it looks like he is in crew. complete control. He's doing the right thing, slowing down this match, keeping to his strength. But Lucas Riley, look at the agility right there. Beautiful flip through. Japanese arm drag, beautifully done by Riley. Leapfrog over the big man, drop down. Evans now, beautiful oh. legs. Larry it's okay. Kipper. It's okay. It's okay. Beautiful agility there from Lucas oh, Riley speed, tagging in. Here comes Dirty Dom Kubrick. The most okay. sadistic Dom Kubrick looking to live up to his name here. And this is what they've got to do. They've got to work on their, their tag team. Look at this. Sets him down right on top of the man. Kubrick now. All right, Brett, Brett, get a handle on this. This is ridiculous. There's nothing ridiculous. Is this how we welcome our new guests here at the VWC? Well, the crew is just as much a guest as they are. Kubrick. Look at Kubrick. Look at the power. No. Kiss up. Evan says no. Kubrick has endured quite a metamorphosis over the course of the last year, yes. going from La Mere Posa the to Dude. the most Textbook sadistic. Evans, right there. But fellas, it's not paying off for him here. Call him Mariposa. Call him most sadistic. Call him what you want. He is getting dominated by Evans. All right. Well, now yeah, we're about comes, to see here comes some Justin's magic. Best friend. A little bit of a little bit of a thunder. A little bit of lightning. Well, How's that section. feel? Johnny Suave is one of the most underrated superstars out in SoCal uh, anywhere, but he has all the talent it takes to be a world champion. You're right about that. Like we said, that we haven't seen him here in a long time. Look at the roll through. Look at the beautiful shades look at of Owen Hart. Look at this. Look at oh, beautiful look at that. Knee. Oh, dab, baby, dab. Yes. Try dabbing on the haters. Yes. I don't know if you want to do that with Dom though. Dom's yeah, no. on a different side of Dom. Look at those hips. Suave has not lost the touch. Those hips do lie. I can tell you that much. Uh, Look at the you don't know right Johnny Suave. You Look at that. Done. Guys, what's up, with the, seven weenie. <laughs> what's up with the Fortnite default dancing? He's, uh, is, this, is he, yeah, is he a 16-year-old? Oh, is he 16? Is this is pretty bad. Dom the not falling card. into his antics. Is he, Kubrick now shoots him off. Beautiful. Oh, block of, Look at this. Cover. One. Nope. Rolls through beautifully. Look at this. Top wrist lock oh. out. Beautiful kip up there by Johnny. Yeah, you watch out and for Johnny Suave. And a cartwheel out of, the, out of the neck snap. Dude, he's snap Look there. at that. Look at that agility. I don't think he realizes that. that Dom's on his feet. Tom oh, Kubrick locked and loaded. A little bit of a uh, Fortnite dance of his own here. Trying to oh, play you know, Johnny Suave's own game. You don't want to dance trying off to with Suave. One, trying to play one up on him. Look at him. Ducks. Oh, beautiful right you there. You don't want to. Look Whoa. at that. Matrixing out right there with the kip. Oh. And a drop kick catches him flush. It's okay. It's okay. Dom Kubrick truly taking the red pill here. 
As in here comes, comes Lucas Riley. Here we go. Here comes that tag team cohesion that they've worked on so well. No, look at this. Goes oh. to the midsection. Oh. Like a well-oiled machine. Okay, the Beautiful double teaming's got to stop here. Yeah, and a standing, and a standing spark splash. Cover. One, two. No, two counts as the referee's team. What is with the referee's problem letting the Krusty Crew continue to double team the, the, the card here? If I'm not mistaken, they've got to the count of five, and the referee was right on top of that count. They were taking advantage of every second they had in that ring. Lucas Riley on top of Johnny Suave here. This Fre has been all Krusty Crew for the last several minutes, gentlemen. Oh, frequent tags. I'll just really give them time. Picks him up for a backbreaker. Suave, look at that. Suave breaks out. Wait, Suave, Gray, him out. Gray grabbing the foot of Dom Cooper. Oh, I don't leave her alone. Fallen Gray, the intangible. Oh, there we go. Hilarious. And as soon as she intervenes, the now card you get back the show. in control. Take a look at the show. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Suave and now those hips. Dom Cooper can only, oh, one count only, though. Listen, very, very easy for the card to be so big and brash and strong when they have Fallen Gray on the outside, effectively the third member of their team, illegally. It's, it's you know almost what? like a handicap. She's a bonus to how good they actually are. You're forgetting oh, that yeah. both of them are former heavyweight champions here in Southern hey, California. Hey, Reich, if they're that good, why do they need Fallen Gray? They don't the need her, but you know what? She no, is what hey, They don't need her. On, Look at this. They don't, they don't need her. They don't need her. But however, they want her, and that's what matters. That's what makes them a great tripod. The card has got it all. Evans now bringing. They got the beauty, the, the beautiful beauty swinging neck Suave, breaker right there, the right bronze. in the middle ring. Cover, Cover here. one, two. You say tripod? Like it's a tripod. For a, for a camera? Yeah. Well, they're a tripod. They stay and shut up. Well, right now it is Chris Evans again working over Dom Kubrick. The tide of this matchup has shifted, gentlemen. Ever since Gray's interference and the fact that they've cut off, they've very effectively cut off Kubrick from his corner now. That's right. Yeah, Dom Kubrick got to oh, be looking for a tag. Is beautiful kicks. kicks. The card not making it easy for him here. Lethal feet. That bear right there. Right and there. A kick to the mid, to the, oh. to the right between the shoulder blades. Oh, oh, and another King of one. of Arizona taking it to him. Oh, and a big knee across the sternum. Oh, they can hear that in Tucson. Cover here. Evans with the cover. Cover one, two. No, two count only. Curiously though, Evans not hooking the leg there, not really yes. sitting deep into that cover. Maybe underestimating Tom Cooper. Very, very way. nonchalant. You know, you finally said a smart choice. thing. I will agree. Chris Evans needs to hook the leg next time. Oh! oh, kick to the midsection, courtesy of Johnny Suave. You know what? Double team for a double team. Suave back in the ring now again. Once again, very effective using that five count, cutting Dom Cruz off of his Text quarter. Text, books, Big slam, slam right, there. Look right at that. in the middle of the ring. Oh, oh, More oh, Fortnite oh, dancing. feeling it, feeling it, feeling it. Literally, literally hitting oh. the ground. Oh. elbow, my goodness. Look oh, at the people, other. the people are going wild what right now. Going on? Number one, two. two. And three, oh, come on, ref. Perhaps, count only. That perhaps. ref cannot get to three. We have tried. Perhaps we have tried with him all night. He has counted to three on several occasions, just not for yes, the people yeah. you want After to. After you tell him. Perhaps if Johnny Suave had gone for the cover immediately and not dabbed before hooking the leg, the card might have been victorious. We'll never well, know. Cooper now holds on to the second rope, kicks off the arm of Johnny Suave, ducks under the clothesline. Look at Suave. Suave. Oh! oh! Suave with Take the that. Beautiful kick Woo! right there off the middle row. Look at that. Cover now. A maybe bit, maybe a second too late It's over now. Cover. It's, it's time to celebrate, two. boys. Right, how he can you justify problem. this? How can you justify how this? How can you deny that Johnny Suave has nothing what but you, skills? How can I deny it? He doesn't go for the cover. He dabs yeah, or he, he shmoney did. dances. What hey, are we doing oh, here? You can dab as good as him. You do the same. Riley now knocked off the ring apron. Chris Evans and Suave now. Chance to double team. And Minner's in the five count, but it's gonna give Ooh. him enough time to at least get a double back elbow in. Double back elbow, you feeling that one? Ooh! Suave with the, right Suave the exits the ring right That'll about the five count. One, two, two count after the big elbow drop, courtesy of Chris Evans. Again, fans at home, massage the elbow. It is one of the hardest, most unforgiving bones in the body. Now imagine that bone being dug into your chest or sternum after a matchup this vicious. Don Evans Cooper cutting off the airway right now. This right here is textbook pro wrestling. This, you're, you're, that you are right about, Justin. This is as, as good as you can get, controlling the smaller man. But now, Don Cooper now, maybe feeding, oh. Look at the power. Spoke too Those soon. are powerful forearms. Look at those things, they're, they're vascular. He's a big, big man in that ring. 
And they've got to take advantage of all that size and all that strength. And Kubrick is crawling for the cover, but Johnny Suave almost mocking the Krusty Crew here. Suave once again taking more time. You know what? That's called my Dancing games. and goofing off and staying on his opponent. Maybe taking Dom Kubrick a little bit too lightly here. I mean, like certainly said. underestimating the Krusty certainly. Crew. How can you deny that, Reich? No, he's getting in their head. It's called mind games. Suave is one of the best at it. You do not get as good as him oh, without back knowing a few and things. Dom Cooper now fighting out of the corner, trying to fight oh. out of the corner. Big move to the face. Where is oh. it? See, oh. the card is getting under his skin. He's trying to fire up, but they're, watch this. Trying, he is succeeding just, at just firing watch. up. Look at this. Caught the boot. Oh, beautiful roll through. Comes right through and gets the tag to Lucas Riley. Evans down on the floor. Check on him, Greg. Fresh man in the ring now. Lucas Riley comes off the rope. No, caught Suave the knee. caught the leg. It's okay. One step ahead of him still for him. And a beautiful uppercut. It's gonna there. take more than that, buddy. Oh, he's giving him more than that. Series of forms down. Break it up, Rap! Referee's got the count. Riley's Riley. a house of fire, though. Time Lucas the ref Riley has oh. done his job. Riley. Look at Lucas Riley. Riley, all sorts of fired up here, gentlemen. Oh, man, wait on those. Send him over the top. That's Riley right. take hangs a breather, on. buddy. I don't think he really, now he realized, Whoa. beautiful flip over, roll through, goes for a wheelbarrow, roll through again. Oh! Stop right that. to the sternum. Two. Oh! oh. Two and oh. a half right there, somehow swimming his, are you okay? Uh, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. Lucas Riley with an incredible flurry there, but if you're the gravity renegade, you have gotta be wondering, I just hit Johnny Suave with all that, he still got the shoulder up. Exactly. What do I have to hit him with again? Well, we're gonna find out. He's he's calling for Kubrick. Kubrick now. Here comes up a little bit of double team where we know Suave is full of resiliency. Suave now. And look at that. Look at that. Pulled Evans. out by his own partner. Look at that. Taking a breather. Regroup. I don't That's think the they're safe out there. Air Krusty Crew! Oh, oh my Tope god. Tope Suicidas in the middle row. Beautifully done. Why Suicidas. Like Suicidas <laughs> in stereo. And the card is down and the Krusty Crew is standing tall. Look at all this showboating from the Krusty Crew. Look at we're this. Gonna, we're gonna see the replay again. Look at this, both men off the top. And right through the middle ropes, completely wiping out the card. Interrupting a clear timeout that the, the card called. There's no timeouts in wrestling. How do you know? When have you ever seen a timeout? Where's Fallen the Gray, book? Fallen Gray doing everything she can to oh. help console Chris Evans. But inside the ring, Tom Kubrick has Suave. Oh, quick, oh, blind tag right there. I saw a blind tag. Chris Evans tagged himself in. Suave. That's right. I don't know if Don Cooper Oh, beautiful. Oh, big kick to the back. Chris Look Evans now. The referee knows he's a legal man. He comes off. Oh! oh! Shades of Nakamura right there. Beautiful, beautiful. carbon. Oh, swat time. Look Cover. at that. This might be it. Cover it. It's over. One, One two. two. No, Riley breaks it up at two and a half. What ring awareness right there from his tag team partner to see. What him. action. What action what here at VWC. Right. Fallen Gray can hardly believe it. She's beside herself. Lucas Riley now in the ring. Series of shots. Oh, but he gets cut off too. He's a, it's just a two on one. This is not a smart place for Lucas Riley to be at yeah, all. Yeah, right. How do you justify this? You were talking about the referee not breaking up the double team offense of the Krusty oh, Crew. What oh, is I'm this? I'm sorry. Where's the rule book that you guys are always listing off? Caught Wait, himself. The referee doesn't Wait want to count now. Well, suddenly Swabby. he does not account. Well, Where, no, what's going on Riley here? Riley took care of himself. Swami now out of the ring. Big oh. boot, boot to the forehead. Oh, look where's at the double Riley. team action calling from you? They've got to oh. look out of five and Riley's out of the ring. Beautiful German Super Two. Evans, kick out Evans. Oh. Oh. Unbelievable power from Dom Kubrick. Yes, Evans got the shoulder up, but to muscle a man nearly oh, double Kubrick's size up oh, after all this punishment has to be commended. It, it has to be. And look at the quick tags right now. Really, the, the Krusty Crew has really found a flow right here that's doing well for well, them. They only got five minutes. They better be real careful here and not take it out because I'll tell you right now, endurance is the name of the game at this point. Again, we've seen this a few times tonight when we when we reach those oh, crucial... Oh, oh, thumb to the eye for Suave Come right on. there. No, 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 he just Kubrick busted. now. The official oh, didn't even the see outside. it. The official didn't even you see the thumb to the I, eye. And I think... I think Suave tagged himself in oh, again. The car, the car are is the not veterans where, here, folks. This is not where Riley wants to be. This is a bad place. They're setting him oh, up. Is he going for superplex. A, a superplex, yep. Oh! oh roll through beautifully roll done. Look at this. Into a power bomb? Into a double power bomb, maybe. Into a code breaker. Oh! Right across the knee. That's a backstabber, backstabber. there. That was a backstabber. 
Cover, one, two, oh. and... What is going on? What a great, a great job. I'll tell you what's going on. A great me. job by Cooper right here the to use his own partner to break up the three count. I'm Again. going wrong moves. I don't know. I don't feel good. Gentlemen, we've seen this several times tonight. When the announcer calls for it, when Kaz calls for it, these final five minutes, these athletes often go into panic mode, and they can't afford to do that. No, oh, they can't. This action Everybody's is amazing. just trading shots right now in the middle of the ring. I don't know if they want to do that with Evans, though. Evans oh, and Suave. Oh, we have Speed left. Right hand. The card have got to get the win. Both members of Come the on. card. And a chop right there. Greatly, right hand. Greatly outweighing oh, the kicks crusty in the crew. In the knee. Suave. Oh. The kick. No, he's oh, no. Double super kick takes out the big man. Now they're waiting on Suave. Look at the roll. Suave. Oh, no. Big forearm. This double teaming is ridiculous. Come on, Rap. Look at the look at the motion right there. Monkey flips him through. Oh, oh, oh no. Couldn't get him off. Couldn't get him all the way over Suave, though. Where's he going with this? Oh, my Beautiful God. Beautiful European uppercut. They are there. panicking out here. They got minutes until the time is up. Oh, assisted oh, RK God. off the oh, middle rope. Oh, Come God. On. Come on. Two. Three! I can't. I can't. No. The springboard no. cutter. No. Seal the deal. Dom Kubrick and Lucas Riley against all odds. We need to talk right. about the Let's injustice that, that this. this was. Look at this. Wham! Right there in the center and of the ring. Now but, I'm subjected to this music. Yes, the youthful exuberance of the Krusty Group comes out on top. There were times, there were moments where you thought the card had it, but these two men, these two men who are shooting up the rankings here in SoCal, pulled it out. The card had the win. They the did. referee was biased. This is not that. a good way to introduce the card into the BWC, okay? They had the win. Hey, what's your problem with the Swedes? What's your beef with ABBA, man? No, I don't have a beef with ABBA. It's just... Eh. You said we got to hear this song eh. again. I just, yeah, I can't, I can't with it. To chart topper. Will to... you stop twirling? I'm sorry, it's a great song. You're, you're, awesome. The chords are getting tangled over here. You're not, a, you're, you're not a Mamma Mia fan? On SoCal Wrestling TV, you cannot see it right now, but he is twirling, and this is upsetting. Man. Amanda Seyfried, That's Meryl Streep. I'm going to puke. Well, I'll tell you who is leaving not sick, not ill, not nauseous. It's not fair to Johnny Swamey. That is Dom Kubrick and Lucas Riley, fresh off a big victory here yep. tonight in Paris. The card will get their revenge. They'll get their revenge. And gentlemen, I understand we have more singles action on tap. Two of the hottest, fastest rising stars in SoCal, including a Valley Wrestling Connection favorite. We do Wicked Wicked coming up very soon. Remember, Wicked Wicked is one of those few wrestlers here. He only has one loss the entire existence of BWC, and that one loss was to a man two times his size in my grade. Let's but throw it, it back to loss. Kaz. Let's throw it back to Kaz. Oh, it's Kaz. I like fire. I like monster trucks and baseball. With a 20-minute time limit. Well, my friend, you talked about a much bigger man. He's got a very yeah, similar man. situation in store here tonight. It's a modern day Spartan, Jordan Cruz. From Lafayette, Louisiana. Putting in at 220 pounds. Gentlemen, I understand that us commentators are prone to exaggeration or hyperbole in our field. However, and I mean this 100% truthfully, if you came to me and said, Jordan, tell me honestly, who is the hottest, fastest rising star in SoCal? Who is the guy we're gonna look back at a decade or two from now and say, I can't believe we got the chance to watch him. I can't believe you got the chance to call his matches. My answer would undoubtedly be Jordan Cruz. Very, Jordan. very, very true. Look, look, at, look at the form. If you were going to build a future superstar in this sport, it is this man right here. A true specimen, but tonight, and he knows it. Tonight, looking a little uh, a little salty, a little sour. We saw that yeah, thumbs down to the fans at ringside. A uh, An unusual perspective for Cruz. Why does he got to use big words? You're just mad because you don't know him. I know Kaz, trust me. 
Well, Jordan still Cruz is going to have bucks. his own hands full. Here he comes. Okay, hit yourself. That, that's going to do wonders. We talked about it earlier on tonight with Honest John. Wicked Wicked in his own right, a yes. fixture of the Valley Wrestling Connection. He has been there since day one, has beaten a lot of big names. The only mountain he could not climb was a veritable mountain in Mike Rain. Another undefeated PWC superstar. Well, and you gotta think, Mike Rain, you mentioned, a much bigger man than Wicked much Wicked. Bigger. Certainly re-strategizing, certainly going back to the proverbial drawing board and thinking, I couldn't beat that big man in Mike Rain. How can I beat this big man in Jordan Cruz? Wicked's well, got a big task ahead of him. Jordan yes. Cruz is looking, staring a hole right through him. The intensity on that man. Yeah, this is a different kind of determination from Jordan Cruz. He's meaner, he is nastier, he's angrier than we've ever seen. Certainly sure looks locked in, and he's gonna have to be because Wicked Wicked is a man who can pull the wind out of literally thin air. We've seen him do it, we've seen him do it numerous times. But does he have the strength? Does he have the tenacity? Does he have anything it takes to keep this monster of a man down? You can be strong, you can be tenacious. If a man like Jordan Cruz is over 100 pounds heavier and feeling as nasty as he is tonight, might not matter. It might not. He's There's the bell. Wicked might have this crowd behind him, but it, you know what? These people are going to do him no good against this man. And Jordan Cruz... Already taking a powder outside the ring. Right. It's mind games. Well, you mentioned he was staring a hole through Wicked Wicked. He, got on the top turnbuckle and said he's the best guy here, no one can beat him. This does not seem characteristic of that assertion. Not at all, taking his time, he's sizing him up. Cruz now slowly making his way back in the ring. Wicked came out with a lot of intensity. He was slapping himself, getting all excited. And Jordan here, he's trying to calm it down, take control, look at that. This is a position that Wicked, is, Wicked does not want to be in. Why are you obsessed with the slapping? Why do you keep going back to He that? keeps hitting himself in the head. I mean, I really, you need to think about that for a second. It's what kind deal. of guy does that? Do you Fires wake up every day up. and just slap yourself? I'm not from the Wicked side of Riverside. Well, will you start slapping oh, yourself? Oh, drops the truck. Beautifully done right there. Wicked now. <laughs> Wicked Wicked is going to have to use that athleticism. Oh, guys. Gentlemen, he's going to have to use that agility to evade Jordan Cruz. He yeah. can't get into a striking match. He can't get into a power game with this man. I don't think he even wants to get into a wrestling match with him. He's going to have to pull out every lucha trick that he knows in order to oh! get him ahead. Because that right, right there, there is not going to work for him. Yeah, Jordan Cruz, if he, get, if he gets a hold of you, it's going to be almost difficult. Last now with the roll through, beautifully done on the top wrist lock. Wicked's gonna have to use every ounce of speed he's got yes. to even compete here. Last month, Jordan Cruz made his Roseland Day Prestige Wrestling's premier event in Portland, Oregon. He went head to head with another local fan favorite in Jaden the Unbelievable. And I bring this up because Jaden, much like Wicked, the local hero, the hometown boy, the crowd favorite, was defeated and decimated by Cruz in three minutes and 38 seconds. Three minutes and 38 seconds, less than five minutes minutes. That's all it took for Cruz to decimate a hometown hero. Can't even cook a hot pocket in that time. That's wonderful. Look at Cruz with the arm bar right there. Hot dogs, hot pockets. You are he, he something I'm, else. I'm man. a little hangry. He, I can tell. On food. He's fixated on food. Well, right now, Mr. Jordan, James didn't supply us with lunch. It's Jordan ridiculous. Jordan Cruz like, playing with the food, no, playing with his take, food here. Yeah, can't even take the big man down. Wicked to try and Jordan shoots no, him you're off. Not, you're not going to outpower him. He's going to have to outspeed him. There you go. There's the take. Now look at that. Yes, instantly into the head scissors and gets out of it. But again, Jordan Cruz is not some big lumbering oaf, right? No, yes. Not at all. Wicked, wicked, clearly with the sot with his excuse me, the speed advantage, the agility advantage. But Jordan Cruz can match him. I mean, we've seen this guy hit tope cone helos before. And very, very true. He can fly too, but that's where Wicked's got to stay. He's got to stay with that speed. He's got to try to keep him off that vertical base. If they're on that vertical base. Oh, come on, Jordan Cruz grabbing at the ponytail of Wicked Wicked. Look, let's be real for a need second. To do that. As a former professional wrestler myself, when you are smaller than your opponent and you have to put in all your effort to hold on to a headlock, it wears you down as well. This is the problem that Wicked has an uphill battle tonight. Jordan Cruz has an easier battle in a sense. As long as he can control and keep the speed, you got a winner right there. Wicked has a huge 
uphill battle. But also, this is Jordan Cruz's debut in the Valley Wrestling Connection. He is an unknown commodity here. The same way that Wicked and the fans and oh, right ourselves. There, right there, That's what he's going to have to do. He's going right. to have to be quick. We don't know what to expect from Jordan Cruz. Look at how fast Jordan grabs him. Nope, but Jordan Cruz also oh. doesn't know what to expect out of the VWC. Being an unknown commodity can be a disadvantage. Definitely, but right now I don't see any any kind of butterflies in there for Jordan Cruz. Wicked use, illegally using those ropes to his advantage here. No, I think he was very smartly using them. Look at the tip over right there. Wicked now, a little bit of taunt. Oh, oh, there it is. All that talking. See what it gets you? Section. See what it gets you? But hold on, Wicked lands right on his feet. Jordan hit hard. Throws him over the top rope, but no. Look at Jordan scouting out the man, knowing what he's coming. That. coming. Wicked now with the roll through, shoot them back over. No, he oh. missed that back, that forearm. He's in the back. Oh. But no, it got the clothesline. And right there, smartly, Cruz is taking a break, taking a breather, catching his win. But he's not safe out there. This is what Wicked does best. You give Wicked an inch, he will take a mile, and he ain't done. Cruz, though. Whoa! Cruz trying to make it back in the ring. Did not go over the top rope. Oh. Cruz Rolls to the that outside. Was a, that was a Hardly rough, driving during the outside. That was a rough kick to the face. Cruz, Wicky will not be denied. Cruz rethinking Cruz things. Nope. Oh, Look at that. Caught him Athleticism in the coming from the big guy. And what gentlemen, you see that spear imprinted on the knee pad of Jordan Cruz. That is because his knees are as devastating as spears. His ace in the hole in the squared circle. Likes that to go knee. for that brain buster onto the knee, the no more sorrow. When Cruz starts hitting those knees, he does not stop. You saw it right there. You're right, Jordan. That knee cut off Wicked Wicked at the, Wicked Wicked at the pass. It's make, it, it put a dent in his forehead, made him uglier than, than, than he usually is. The man wears a he's mask. Gonna, he's going to have to put a bigger mask on. Oh. European uppercut right there, beautifully done. Jordan now taking his time, stalking his prey almost. Again, got to give the devil his due. Jordan Cruz with such composure. Oh. Was just put through the ringer by Wicked Wicked. All and the second, he, the second he regains control, he slows the pace down and looks comfortable and Stalks confident doing right it. There. Back to the point of the looks. I mean, Wicked wears a mask. I mean, you don't wear a mask if you're Brad Pitt. That's all I'm saying. I'm, I don't know. I feel like all luchadors, every time oh, they're unmasked, right are hand. unbelievably handsome. Historically. Yeah, Jack Black was really handsome. <laughs> Cover here from Cruz. One. Jack Black only is very a, handsome. I don't know what you're guy. talking about, man. Get that coin out of my face. Jordan Cruz oh, really zeroing again. in, really zeroing <laughs> in on the head of Wicked Wicked and yeah. the arm, it seems, trying to clip the wing of the Lucha Killer. Well, he knows that 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 he, that Wicked will always resort to that forearm to the back of the head, and maybe he's trying to neutralize that forearm. Maybe he's trying to make sure he can't use that forearm anymore. He's won many a match. Cruz is taking complete control of this match. I told you right now, that's exactly what he has to do. But right now, this showboating ain't going to get him the win either. He's got to be careful. Well, he's got to be careful, but Wicked is in no position to take advantage of the showboating. Look at him. Wicked's even ha having trouble gathering himself up from the mat. Every hit that Cruz has given him has been powerful, but look at Wicked trying to use all that strength. Again, like I and said, when you are smaller than your Cover. opponent, everything wears you more. Big hook of the leg. Do you see how much leg he had over, how much midsection he had? Very good pin right there from Jordan Cruz. Oh, no, it, it, it's very true, right? A broken clock is right twice a day, and you make an excellent point. A, a normal man hitting Wicked Wicked with a maneuver like that would hurt. Jordan Cruz is no normal man. No. Jordan Shaw shoots him off, Wicked ducks through, and I'm right at least four out the leg. Day. Ask That's, my fiance. There's a good idea. Take out the Oh! Oh, and he still went for the arm. Look at Wicked, look at Wicked, how's the fire? Jordan pushes him off though. I thought he was maybe looking for that forearm strike, perhaps softening Cruz up. I thought so. Oh, Jordan right up the top rope, lands on his feet though. Wicked though, waiting on him in the ring. What's he going for? Jordan, Yo! Toe over the tech, top rope right there. Well, this is what Wicked's gonna have to do to even compete against Cruz, and he's doing it, Wicked, using that speed. Wicked Wicked flying through the air with reckless abandon, seemingly no awareness for his own physical safety, absolutely no awareness for Cruz's. Rolls Cruz back in the, look at, here we go again with that tope. Look at that beautiful oh. extension right there. Nasty, nasty landing for Cruz. Wicked Wicked, knee to the face right there, almost a sliding knee. Cover, got a two count out of that. Jordan, this, ever since that flurry right there from Wicked, this has really moved back into his momentum now. And gentlemen, Wicked Wicked, you saw the slit across the throat. He's calling for the end. Look, at, I'm not a fan of Wicked, but he is impressing me against Cruz right now. Well, Wicked still got one arm to do that and forearm with, and he's going to try for it. Oh, oh, there it is. Big boot to the face. Here we go. Power move up. coming up. 
Not where you want to be, and Wicked knows it. Wicked fighting for his life here because if Cruz hits you, it's done. Oh! oh, that's like that. What oh. a four on the I think his face. eyeball just went in the first row. Wow. You don't want to get into a striking match with Jordan Cruz, Wicked. Quickly goes to the midsection, though, reciprocates that form. He's calling, he's asking oh. for it. He's asking to get hit. I don't know how smart that is. No, now, not smart at all. Wicked, Wicked just crumples. But it's not about how hard you get hit. It's about how hard you get hit and how quick you get back up. And Wicked, Wicked is back up. Look at Wicked. He's though. not Rocky. He is Apollo Cruz and or, uh, uh, Apollo, and he is about to oh, go down. There was that knee again, Jordan. The ace in the hole of Cruz, the secret weapon. Wicked though. Oh, beautiful European uppercut. Beautiful oh, forearm. Oh, no, beautiful. Yeah, you're right about that. Nice, nice rolling forearm. elbow there. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh another knee, again. knee. Here we go. Power bomb coming up. Beautiful! Oh, big power ball. And he's not done. Shades oh, no. of Sid Vicious. Hold oh, on! Oh, Cutter! Cutter out of, out of nowhere. They are both down. And gentlemen, Jordan Cruz tried to make sure he had finished the job. Tried to double check. Tried he to did. double tap there. And I think that may have cost him. That was pure instinct on Wicked's part. But they, that There's power bomb took it out of him. I'm sure, but if Jordan Cruz had gone for the cover, then perhaps, perhaps uh, uh, Wicked, he Wicked, Wicked was too fast for him. But I'm telling you right now, that power bomb took it out of him. Look at Wicked. He is he is crawling there. Well, right you now, well, Jordan's crawling himself. Neither man can get to their feet right now. You say Wicked's we too have fast. An count already. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I agree with that, Reich. I think Cruz went for a second power bomb to make sure, and I think it might have spelled disaster. Wicked's for him. calling for the four. It was pure instinct at that point. Oh, there's oh, that power. Got that scouted. Fireman's oh. carry. Wicked with an illegal choke. That's an illegal choke. It's below Rear the chin. chin. Rear chin lock right there, but. Raph. He's got to get the big man down. He's got the big man down to one knee. Ref, you're choking him out. This Cruz is, is fading. This the is an illegal move. Is, the referee is right there. It's not illegal. He can check, and he's checking. But look at Cruz fight out of it. He's still got some power left oh, in him. There's a lot of power left in there, I'm sure. Wicked now waiting on Cruz. Oh. Both feet to the face. Wicked can... Oh, oh beautiful leaping Wicked is speeding kick. up everything. This is what Cruz does not want. He does not want a fast-paced oh, match. He caught he him, though. slow him down. Where's Cruz? Beautiful! Oh, beautiful Death Valley driver! But credit to Wicked Wicked. Wicked rolling, rolling to the outside. Beautiful. You're right about that, Jordan. Good call. Great wherewithal in the ring. I'll give that to Wicked. Cruz has got to get a hold of this guy. Oh, gentlemen, I've seen this before. I think, oh, and I think Wicked Wicked's the victim tonight, but I think that everybody gets superplexed. Here. Everybody gets superplexed. Yeah, Jordan. you said it. Yeah, well, it's a Jordan C thing. And look no, at this. Wicked, Wicked says, I will not oh, get superplexed. Perhaps Jordan oh, Cruz oh, called kick. his shot a little too Jordan early. Jordan Cruz just yeah, got telegraphed it. Swipe there. Beautiful double knees in the sternum right there. Takes him down. Nice Cruz better the the right There, there it, it is. Did he get it? He's Can done. Did he get Cover. it? One, two. Oh, oh foot on the rope. At the last the possible second, Cruz. Jordan Cruz saves himself. Cruz, that is a ring, ring general move right there. Yes, he knew is. where he was in that ring, got his foot up on that rope. That is right there, a textbook athlete. Amazing. Right now, what a match. and Wicky Wick is showing his frustration, doesn't know what he's got to have to do now. He's hit Jordan Cruz with everything he's got, and Jordan Cruz still managed to put the bottom foot on the rope. Well, Gentlemen, that is crying rag? That is a game-ending maneuver for Wicked Wicked. Perhaps every match he has won here in BWC, of which, as we pointed out, there are many he has done with that maneuver. You're very and Cruz correct. found a way to survive. You're right. Oh, Cruz. And look at Cruz. Look at that. Going Smartly going right back out to the outside. Now, if I'm Wicked, I would take the count out. But Wicked Wicked wants to make a statement after losing to Mike Rain, after being on the lost, losing end of a couple matches. He, you know, he wants to make a statement with a guy like Jordan Cruz. Yeah, he doesn't want to win Jordan via Cruz count out. Hitting those ropes. Oh, oh right into the guardrail. Kick. Oh, guys, 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 guys. I don't oh, know if you Cruz. caught that. Wicked Wicked this crotched his neck there. Fly. Wicked Wicked landed very, very awkwardly on his neck on the Move barricade. In the air. Oh, oh, shades of the Macho Man Randy Savage right there. And then, I think, I think, yes, you're right about that, Jordan. He hit him on the. Oh, oh no! Brain buster on the apron! And oh my god! If you are not familiar with how hard that ring is, is that out. is the hardest. This is part. done, this is done, this, this is, is done. done. No! Wait, no! Wicked kicked out! 
You're absolutely right, Reich. Again, broken clock twice a day. The apron, the hardest uh, part of the that's canvas. That's three, buddy. You and, just called me right. Get that finger out of my face. The man. railing dug inside the throat of Wicked Wicked, the Lucha Killer, in a but, very bad way, gentlemen. But Wicked found something down there. We had instinct, be it, I don't know. But he kicked out at that, too. Now Jordan Cruz questioning Justin Borden's count. Oh, come on. Oh, what, hey. what is this? The disrespect. You know what? I'm even going to agree with you right now. Cruz is making a vital mistake because every time we have seen Wicked get some breath in, he somehow gets out. It's, we, it's, you say get some breath in, I'm not sure he's even able to breathe yeah, after that oh, throw oh, landed awkwardly on the barricade. Cruz knows what he's doing. Larry, in the corner Look right there. Look at the Kenny. power. Oh, Look God. Look at around the neck. Oh, ref, you got to stop neck. this one. Ref, get in there. Referee Justin Borden I'm calling just for the break. I'm feeling bad for Wicked at this point. Oh! Air raid crash. That's it. Air raid, you're right. Cover. That's one. Time to go home. Two. No! Oh, how? Again. How? Maybe because he didn't hook the ring. I don't know. But right now, Jordan Cruz, if I think if, I think if Jordan Cruz hooks the leg right there, he gets the victory. But no, a nonchalant cover trying to just hold the shoulders down. Maybe because he didn't calm, hook Cruz. the leg. Maybe because he took several seconds relaxing making fun of Wicked Wicked perched on that top rope. Whatever it is, Cruz didn't get the job done, and he has to readjust. Happy, Wicked though. is feeling every hit that Cruz has given him. We might be minutes away from the finish here, folks. We are seeing it. Cruz, Wicked, if he Wicked hits him to, one more time, it's over. Use, he's going to have to use those ropes to get back to his feet right now. Jordan Cruz stalking him almost. Oh! oh that knee strike to the side oh of the head God. again. He, That's three lifeless time. body. Look at that. Wicked yeah, is out. Wicked Wicked is dead weight here, guys. Oh, God. Where is Jordan? What Where did you Jordan just say? Everyone gets superplexed? Once again, everybody gets superplexed. Oh, here and it he comes. He can pick him up from the... Oh, look at the, my. Look at that. Great. Oh, power. From That's the it. apron. Oh. Cover. One. Send him two. home. No. Still. How? I don't... This has got to be pure instinct right now on Wicked Wicked's part. That I is, don't even know if he even knows where he is I'm anymore. not even sure the ref counted. Uh, that was oh, not... We're back down to that five minute warning. Like you said, Jordan, before, this is when they start doing too much, but I don't know how much more Jordan, Ka Jordan Cruz has to do. Well, fellas, you thought these guys were reaching deep into their playbook earlier. You thought they were already pulling out all the stops. You ain't seen nothing yet with less than five this, minutes remaining. This Cruz. is BWC action. The oh, one year anniversary. slap in the face. Wicked with a slap in the face. Jordan Cruz not impressed with that. Oh! oh my goodness! Oh my oh, god! Oh Wicked my god. man just made Cover. a mistake there. One, two. two. Oh, oh my! Another two count. In I what don't know world? what he's gonna have to do to take out Wicked. This is ridiculous. That is the fourth spear that's hit Wicked on the side of the head, and probably the hardest Cruz one is of losing the entire match. He's gonna lose his cool. I, I, at this point, he shouldn't. He's got this match won. He just had I, a fight. I feel like we've said that half a dozen times now. I know. Cruz has this no, matchup won. This no. has to be it. Oh, no, Jordan. Oh, there it is. Oh, no. He's he exposing that knee. I Have mentioned you ever earlier, taken a kneecap to a face? It isn't pleasant, and Wicked oh. Wicked is about to feel it. I mentioned earlier the elbow, one of the hardest parts of the body. The knee may be the only bone harder. Oh, oh. Got beautiful. How? Oh, boy. One, two. Oh. oh. Two count. Almost got the three count right there. Look at Jordan Cruz, though. Cruz took Jordan a second Cruz. too long, Cruz. pulling He's that knee down. Here. Wicked, oh, beautiful oh, jumping knee, the knee face. strike right there, yes. Wicked comes oh. off, bicycle kick, catches him right in the face. How is Wicked doing this? I don't know, what is Jordan Cruz complaining about though? That foot kick caught him flush. He hit him right in the eye, Can he, is he blind? What's going I don't know. on? Justin Board is checking on him. Wait, on wait, floor. wait, wait. The referee telling him, hold on. The referee stopped. I think Cruz is injured. Wait a minute, oh, oh no! Kicked him right in the knee. He what was is playing possum! Oh, oh no! Exposed into the side of the head. No! Oh, more the knee. sorrow, That's no it. more sorrow. Done. That's gotta be it. Two. What is going oh, on? Is no way! Guys, that is Jordan Cruz's finishing Oh, maneuver. he's gonna lose it. Oh, Cruz now, elbows, forearms Complete to the Complete frustration no. from Cruz. Wicket's not even blocking anymore. Wicket's not even moving. Call it. We referee. may have to call this. Call it. What is going on? Wicket is out. Wicket is out. Who won? No. What get are we doing referee. here? I believe, and we'll have to get confirmation, but I believe referee Justin Borden. What's the call, ref? Calling for a referee yeah. stoppage. Wow. By KO. Wow. <laughs> Wicked, Wicked gave all he could, but Jordan Cruz showed a little bit more brains and a little bit more bronze in this match. Right now, right now though, I think we've got to be concerned with Wicked. Wicked has not moved through those series of forearms. 
Now, Wicked he, is, is he, lifeless. Victory. He might John. be. I, now, that's just uncalled. The man is injured in the ring, Jordan. A victory lap here from Cruz. Are we looking at a future heavyweight champion? Again, well, the King of the Valley Championship Tournament on the horizon. We're gonna find out the first entrant into that tournament by night's end, but Jordan Cruz absolutely staking a claim, planting his flag in title contention. After a win like that over Wicked Wicked, he's gotta be. Wicked still hasn't moved yet. Yeah, right, I mean, well, you know, in all seriousness, you know, we, we all play games here, but this sport is very rough, and uh, I think we need to get someone to take a look at Wicked. Yeah, no more sorrow. He hasn't moved. Followed up with repeated forearm strikes from Jordan Cruz. This is no, look, this does not look good, guys. It's all fun and games. We are, we're all about the sport, but, uh, you know, this guy's, you know, he's got family. He's got friends that care about him, and this is uh We saw his girlfriend scary. at girlfriend ringside. He ringside. kissed her before the matchup. She's not liking this, and uh, he's moving, though. I think he's going to be all right. He's holding the back of that neck. He, he took a beating at the end of that match. It's, it's a wonder he even kicked out after No More Sorrow. Cru Mr. Cruz outsmarted him, playing possum, tricking him, uh, stopped Wicked in his tracks, and, and uh, finished it off with the, the knee strike. And Crowd showing their appreciation for Wicked. Well, gentlemen, we got to try to restore order here. We got to try to make sure Wicked Wicked's okay. We still have that huge scramble main event, but I I, I believe we're taking a short intermission once again. Can, okay. we, can we stop and say what action here at DWC tonight? Amazing action, one after another. And there it is, yeah. Coming up next is the six way scramble match. And the winner of that will determine who will face Alan Breeze in the main event. First spot in the tournament. We'll be right back, guys. Stick with us, Stick fans. Stick with us. This action does not I stop know, yet. We're, we're back! back. The boss says we're doing the match, we're doing the match. False alarm, Mr. James okay. calling an audible. All right, gentlemen, hey. I like that. Let's keep it going. All right. Let the good times roll. Here is California. Are you ready for the main event? No, 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 no. We got to try that one more time. I said Paris, California. If you are ready, let me hear you. This crowd is ready. We got hey, Brian uh, Kendrick. We have Del Eli Del Everfly. Fuego Del Sol. Big Dick Hoss. We're about to Hero. see some action, folks. Oh, this, this match should be, every match has been just high adrenaline action packed, but this one I think is going to go beyond all the rest of them. I worked a show with Fuego Del Sol last weekend in Phoenix, Arizona. He told me he wrestled a match in Oklahoma and then immediately drove through the night to get from Oklahoma to, excuse me, from Texas to Phoenix. And then immediately after wrestling in Arizona, drove another 15 hours through the night once again to get to Oklahoma. You're speaking of this as if it's impressive. He may have just fatigued himself. He is about to go uh, through the ring. This was last weekend. He had an entire week to recuperate. My point is that the dedication, passion, and love that the master of the Tornado DDT has for the sport of professional wrestling knows no bounds. You're right. We haven't seen Fuego since his match against Honest John Aquango. He unfortunately got injured, but he was always in a hurry to come back to BWC here. And here goes Toto Hero. With the Hayabusa-inspired yes. tribute gear, another legendary decorated champion in the world of professional wrestling, the Mountain Breaker, hoping to bring himself one step closer to championship contention here tonight. And of course, we talked about it earlier on tonight with Bovi and Mrs. Bovi, but Kota Hero also recently married. Oh, very good. Congrats for Kota. Big congratulations to the Mountain Breaker. You know, I'm engaged. How come you guys haven't uh, congratulated me? Oh, because you're a jerk. Oh, oh. oh well then. 
I, I'm, I'm sorry for your wife, please. Oh. Fiance, oh. I have said it over and over well, again. Well, there it is. Cody Hero and Bobby got married. You're only engaged. That's the reason. No other reason. Oh, oh. Is this those five year engagement? And here comes the big man in the match. Big Haas. I have known this man for over 10 years. Big Dick Haas does not mess around, and he will be the guy who shakes up things here tonight, including that ring. Well, and gentlemen, we have to point out, originally scheduled to compete yes. in this matchup yes. was Brandon Gatson. Yes. Gatson, unfortunately, suffering an injury. We send him our very best. Big Dick Haas filling in, taking advantage of the opportunity laid out by Gatson's injury. Gatson, another BWC original. Has the score to settle under Ooh. John like I feel like everybody does in the company. Haas is but a big man. He is the biggest man in this match. And look at Kaz a little scared of him. I like that. He, he's gonna ha he's gonna be the one that they're all gonna have to look out for, I think. Fire alarm going off. Worse. Even worse. Princess Death Wish. Now, what's the royal lineage there? How does the family tree go back? Is there a queen and king death wish? You know, I, I think it started with with uh, king death wish and what? queen. Uh, um, I don't know. <laughs> Well, you're this the, is you're ridiculous. The, you're the journalist oh. here. You're supposed to know these things. Hold on, let me Google. He's a new here death to wish. BWC. Let me Google the Death Wish lineage. I don't know. I mean, oh, Princess oh, Death well. Wish, irregardless of lineage, certainly not endearing himself to the BWC fate. Not what do you think that all. castle looks like? Yeah. What do you say? Excuse me. What do you think the castle? Oh, looks different, like? different castle. Mountain? This is going to be a high action match. La Mosca has arrived. Here, he, here comes the fly. You know what? Don't count him out either. His size, he might be the smallest guy in that ring but he can fly. Oh, Eli he... Everfly has never let his size define him, gentlemen. He has made a career out of being underestimated and overlooked. Clearly, clearly, like you guys said, smallest, fastest guy in the match, but also one of the most experienced men in this match. In fact, Eli Everfly has been wrestling for a long time. I think the only man who in here who has more experience than, than Eli would be Brian Kendrick. And speaking of. Speaking of the former WWE Cruiserweight Champion, he needs to put that tongue away. He's making me very uncomfortable. You know, I do have to agree with that. I'm right four times a day. Told you. <laughs> oh, here he is. Here comes D. Brian Kendrick. Professional wrestling legend. If you are new to professional wrestling, how do you even describe Brian Kendrick? Trained by the great Shawn Michaels multiple time champion, longest reigning tag team SmackDown champion in WWE history, former WWE champion. Yeah, former and I, I'm actually yes. so glad you brought up yes, his time see, as former as WWE champion. It is an unofficial reign and the picture. In their scramble match, my dude. Oh. And it was elimination style. The last man standing will move on to face Allen Breeze tonight. Took the words right out of my yes, mouth, like a championship scramble match. Brian Kendrick only held the championship briefly and unofficially back at Unforgiven. Tonight has the opportunity to right that wrong and get himself one step closer to another championship. Princess Deathwish. Princess Deathwish showing the people what he's got. That's an octave. Right that, that was a big octave they hit. And here we go, elimination match. Spot in the main event to face Alan Breeze to go into the turn. I'm not, I'm not sure. Oh, hold Carl on. Hero. Oh, one, 
two. Oh, Again, this, two, this is yeah. an elimination scramble. It is not one fall to a Ryan finish. Ryan Cameron also getting attacked here, but here we go. Oh, this is going to be all over the place. Absolute yeah, bedlam, to... utter chaos here tonight in Paris. Big Haas. Haas now, Haas not sure what to do yet. No, he, he's, just, he's just enjoying the show at this I point. Mean, that's the smart thing. I would do the smart thing to stay off in that yep. corner, Haas. Wait, wait till they come to you. Fuego now, and look Beautiful at the princess. The, top the princess just enjoying the show as well. Uh, they might be the smartest going. ones in the match. Haas and Koto the princess. Hero now. Beautiful oh. tumble lead. Wow, taking out the man at the ringside. But Big Nick Haas. Um, okay, we got Big Dig Haas and the Princess. This is not where they want to be against the Haas. This is a bad place, Princess. Well, you say that, but the Princess does not look scared here. They're going to be in a second. Look at the size of Haas. The crowd is all about that Big Dig Haas. Look at oh, he stuck well, his finger in Haas's face. Yeah, you know, I, I, I like... I don't know if that's a good idea, no, I, Princess. I'm not sure I would do Minus, this. Minus, you're, you're about to feel. Yeah, oh! there it is. Headbutt from Texas. Woo! Lord. Oh, oh. 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 Gentlemen, oh. gentlemen, Princess Deathwish is wearing a t-shirt. Couldn't tell by the sound of that. Those frying pans he's got for hands oh. and another one. Frankly, I think I would rather be hit across the chest with a frying pan. I think so, too. Oh. oh, Princess Deathwish. Princess Deathwish actually some oh, gave him a kiss on the hand with a nice boot to the oh, face. Oh, he can't knock the big man off his feet, that's for sure. You know, unorthodox uh -oh. as he might be. Uh, I think oh, he, he just woke up the big guy. Oh, well, oh. up and over. Good ring awareness right there from the princess. Where am I going to jump? Where am I going to jump? Princess says she's uh, going to jump. A little bit of loud talking I here. Know. I don't know. Oh, he's not. And well, okay, and those are, uh, there's, the, the knees are down. Yeah, so I'm not I mean, sure how effective those are. I don't know. Uh, it's, I, I think Haas is heading up It's 2024. Why are those called princess push-ups? Wait a minute. Whoa. Uh, I think princess Death oh. Wish, don't look behind yeah, you. Don't princess, turn around. You might not like the view. Oh, He's got a wall of fury right there. It's not fair to the princess. Well, I don't think there's much she can do about it right now. Oh my God! A super kick from all four that combatants. That was an ultra kick. Two, three. Wow. Princess Deathwish has been eliminated. Thank you, Kaz. Well, well after a quad super I, kick, I don't know what the Princess Deathwish castle is like, but he's going to be spending some time there tonight. I hope, Mom, I hope King and Queen Deathwish are waiting for him. And it seems as if Eli Everfly, Kota Hero. Fuego Del Sol and Brian Kendrick turning the their size. attention to the big man, yeah. I Look at they, the size of Haas. He is just as big as all him. He's inviting all four. Four of the opponents. Look at Oh! oh look. He'll take all four. He's hardcore. Oh, my God. Look at this. Four oh. big shot right there. Fuego now going after it. A fresh Haas is a dangerous Haas. Haas. Look at the big man. No, mister. One big dick Grab Haas it. hog is probably oh. equivalent oh. in weight. To oh. four of his opponents. Oh. Fuego thought he'd go for a head scissors right there. That's, there's too much humanity there to head scissors over. There's your winner right there. I'm calling it right now. Hey guys, Who's Kodo, gonna take him down? Kodo and Eli are back up to their feet on the outside. They look a little frightened to get back in the ring and face off against Big Dick well, Haas, quite frankly. Wouldn't you? Think about yeah. it. Yeah. That's why I'm them, up here. All four of them just went after the big man and did nothing to him. He cleared the entire ring out of the other four contenders. Brian Dick Kendrick, so and he big. still is. Brian Kendrick and Kota Hero doing everything they can on the outside to batter the big they man. They are but he's doing everything they can. Look at them, they're they flying really, all over the place. He they, just will not go down. No, they've turned this into a four-on-one match. And again, we said, this is there no countouts in this match? What's I, going on here? With a, with a scramble elimination, no, there would be no countouts or disqualifications, and they're taking full advantage of that. Big Dick Haas Hog brawling nearly to the backstage area with Brian Kendrick. No, don't they're come going up here. In the crowd. Yeah, don't uh, come they're go, up they're here. Going the opposite. They're going the opposite way. That's okay. good. All right, that's good. Now, I know Big Dick Haas, and let me just tell you, he is uh, a dangerous man. And I got to say, if oh. I'm Alan Breeze, I'm no doubt watching this match very closely. I don't want to face any of these five combatants, let alone Big Dick Haas. Oh, this no. is going everywhere. We're going up in the rafters here. Fighting over there by the bleachers, all five in now. Hold on, guys. What is what is Eli Everfly doing on those bleachers? Oh Eli, my god! Eli found himself a perch. If there's one thing I've seen him do many times, 
He finds the high spot. He's about to fly. Ever fly. Emphasis oh, on the fly. Beautiful. Just took time. out the whole group. Took out everybody. Took out the crowd. BWC action live. Don't ever miss it if you get a chance. Wow. Eli breaking away from the from the other four of his partners, taking out all five four men now. Now he's the only one standing. But again, oh, Eli Everfly, you bring up a great point. All four of his opponents are down. He somehow, some way, as perhaps the smallest man in the matchup left, has to roll one of them back into the ring to get and the I, cover. As I told you, you can't wait. count him out. He's a veteran of Southern California wrestling. And, and well, nationally. I mean, he's wrestled everywhere. Yeah. He's beat and the he's, Miz on national television. He, oh, chair to the back of Haas. And again, they, the action a little difficult to see. Luckily, making their way back to ringside. Brian yeah, Kendrick. All still working on Haas. We've got, Look great at that. we've got great cameramen doing great camera work. We're able to keep up. All four men following the big man back to the ring now. Fellas, I'm not sure if we saw, but Brian Kendrick is limping. He is really, really hurting on that left knee, I believe. Eli took them all out. He must have hurt it somewhere out there Haas, in that crowd. Haas, Haas is still again. up. Look at this man. Oh! Catches an insecurity to the back of the head, though. The biggest guy and the smallest guy about to go head to head. Eli, David versus Goliath. Two oh. fixtures of Santino but Brothers right, wrestling. But right back to his feet comes the big man. Oh! oh! Big foot across the face takes Eli right out of the ring. That's how you smush a fly. Kodo now, waiting on Haas. Oh, oh my God. No, Haas waiting on Kodo. Choke Catch slam him. coming up. Nope. No, Kodo, Wait. look at Kodo fighting it up. Look at him flip through the choke slam. Kodo Hero lands on his feet, waits for the big man, comes that back elbow, comes through, picks him up. Beautiful, look at the wow. battle round. Picks him, and they can't take the big man down. Oh! oh. Short arm close, like Cover. one, two, three. Wow, that Larian. Kodo Hero is big out. Larian shades of Stan Hansen right there. And gentlemen, and gentlemen. And they are just, look at them jumping on Haas immediately. This is what they're gonna have to do. We they are, have to do this. We, we're gonna have to work together. We are down to four, and credit to Eli Fuego and Kendrick for staying on top of the big man. Oh, triple, triple super kick. Oh, you called it. <laughs> <laughs> cover. cover. All me three men cover him. One, two, three. Oh, they got him. Wow! It took three men to cover Big Dick, oh, but that. finally the job is done. Three super kicks, three men on top of him. They got three counts. The biggest man is out. This and match now. has just opened up. And gentlemen, I'm going to put both of you on the spot. Who do you got? Kendrick, Everfly, or Fuego? Who's facing Alan Breeze to qualify for Fly the King of the Valley impressive. Championship Fuego Tournament? Fuego impressive, but you have the veteran and Brian Kendrick. Are they going to double team him? Wheelbarrow right there. Nope. But so, so it it seems like they are, no. No, Cover. they're not teaming one, up. Two. They know it is every man for himself here. Crucifix. Beautifully done. One, two, no, two count only. Look at the action. Wow. wow. Crucifix on his own one, two, no, two count again. One and after another of the two counts. Oh! oh I think that was meant for Everfly. I think that was meant for Everfly. It was meant for Everfly. Kendrick is out. Oh, Fuego. he spilled out to the floor. Look at series of Wow. Kicks. Look at oh, the speed! Back kick right there, catching on the side of the head. Wango calling for the end. Look oh, at the double stop in the back Eli's of the head. Gone. Gotta that's, be that's it. That's gotta be it. One, two, time. No! Oh, oh, nice swat. Wow. Kendrick, wow. Kendrick back Kendrick, up. Though, look, at, look at Kendrick taking advantage of the situation. But oh, Wango right back to right the outside. The yeah, Fuego getting desperate, throwing Kendrick outside the ring. He wants Eli alone. Yes, he knows he's got Eli on the ropes. He wants to keep him there without any interference. Beautiful running European uppercut there in the corner. Sets him up now, sits him on the top rope. Where's he gonna go for here? Have you guys ever seen such action? This is amazing. This is great, Spectacular action. main event, and this isn't even, this isn't even the King of the Valley Championship Tournament. This is Kendrick just to qualify. Kendrick back in the ring. Whoa, Kendrick. Him up for the power bomb. No. Wow! Power bomb has hit this slice bread. Cover, two, three. Swing. Oh, oh no, out. Wait, cover one. Kendrick Two. looking to steal Kendrick it, but not enough. Down to the flying Kendrick. And we are down to our final two. It's interesting. You called the sliced bread. Who is the master yes. of the sliced bread? None other than Brian Kendrick. And we said from the very beginning, the two most experienced men in this match. And look who it's down to. Oh, the this two crowd most is fired up. And gentlemen, here's a little fun fact for you. Who trained Eli Everfly? None other than Brian Kendrick. Yes, here, oh, here. Kendrick. Oh, one count only. Look at Kendrick. Rose, Kendrick wants to end this fast. Doesn't want to give Small Eli package. any kind of time. Oh, super kick though. Eli cuts him off. 
La Mosca. Oh, another super kick to the face. La Mosca may be zeroing in on King of the Valley Championship glory. Oh, a oh, little bit ahead of himself. Kenneville was coming, took him out with a big clothesline, turned the man inside out. What a match. Kendrick now, hey, we, you called it, Jordan. There's a sliced bread. Sliced bread number oh, two, but no. nobody home. Eli was able to slip out. 